Hello everyone and welcome finally to the official re-upload of Anime Campaign Episode 1. You forced my hand, you made me do it, and here it is, thanks to Kickstarter. So I'm assuming most people who are watching this know what it is. For those who don't, I make a thing called Epithet Erased, and this is what Epithet Erased is based on, this loose, honky-tonk series of improv streams that my friends and I made eight years ago. And if you'll indulge me, I'm gonna do a little preamble, uh, just explaining who's playing this, who's who their characters are, um, what you'll see in this edit of this version, like, uh, will you see character sheets? What did I change? Because most of it is still in there. Um, some of you might know that the original raw version of this stream is about five and a half hours long. This version is three and a half hours long. Sounds like I cut a lot, right? Nope. Uh, I pretty much cut one break and a lot of moments of silence, and then some other moments where the mics, you just can't hear them. Because we're not performing for anyone, and we are not doing it professionally. And the reason is, we never meant for this to be streamed. We were streaming this for our own archival purposes, so we could watch it later. I think two people watch this stream. But yeah, without further ado, the cast and crew you will be seeing on this. So there's me. I'm the GM. I'm doing an embarrassingly bad job. In fact, it's so embarrassingly bad that I've actually edited in a couple little tool tips because people told me they were so excited. They wanted to see this. They wanted to use it as inspiration for their own Epithet World TTRPGs. Please don't use this episode for that. I do such a bad job. But in case you want any advice, I've had I had Howie do it. He just pops up and goes, that's stupid and wrong and you should do something else instead. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, my co-GM was Will, who plays Ramsey. Ramsey's not in this version of the story, but uh, Will is here voicing a bunch of friendly NPCs. And then we've got the players. Percival King, we've got Aram playing her. Then we have Chula playing Sheriff Goro Shimazaki. He also makes it into Epithet, though he's no longer a main character. Then you've got Rube playing Sergeant Eros, who has a speaking cameo, but is otherwise not in it. And then you have Lamp, who is both our camera person and Meryl Lockhart. Uh, who gets a name drop in Epithet, but is also pretty much cut from it. So what you can expect from this, um, like I said, this was eight years ago. We were pretty weak improvisers, uh, and we were different people. And I need to say that because this does require some content warnings. Um, this is not as polished as Epithet is. It's not quite as all ages as Epithet is. There's a lot of swearing, obviously. Um, a lot of talk of sex and nudity because Rube's character, Sergeant Eros, is a stripper cop. In addition to not being as strong of improvisers, we were probably not as good of people. There's a lot of really uncomfortable, fatphobic jokes. Um, there's some police brutality jokes in here that I think have not aged well, especially coming from Meryl. Uh, Anything I thought was like really off color, and there were some things, there were some things I was like, yo, you can't say that anymore, and I got rid of that. Um, I tried to edit around it as best I could, but um, I am limited. Um, and I did my best to sound balance the audio, because Lamp is five times as loud as everyone else, and Aram and I are inaudible, and Chula is like humping her mic the whole time, and it sounds like shit, but I did my best. Uh, there was an episode zero of this campaign that we did not save. It's about Mera and Indus at a tournament stealing people's powers with a necklace. It's like a much worse, more boring version of the museum arc that never had Molly and Giovanni as main characters. That's a thing, it gets mentioned twice, just know that it happened, and that necklace is around, and the bad guys have it. They've got it right now. It's kind of like Epithet, but a little different. In addition to those little Howie tool tips that I'm adding, just for people who are more interested in the mechanical sections of this, I'm also going to be doing a big breakdown. There's this big fight, it's the second encounter. I think it's probably the worst encounter I've ever designed mechanically, and it's so close to being good, I just didn't run it right. So when that's done, if you're interested in TTRPG mechanics, I'm going to talk about what I would do instead if I were running this now for like, a couple minutes. You can just skip it if you're not interested, it's fine. Uh, and the last thing before we start, you probably know that I put like an embargo on people watching Anime Campaign. I took it offline after Epithet. Um, and I've mentioned this before, and it, it matters a lot to me. 
Uh, the reason I did that is because I didn't want people who were interested in this world seeing Epithet, getting interested, digging too deep, finding anime campaign, and spoiling all of the good stuff before it happens in Epithet. Especially, there's one thing, it's not who the main antagonist is. That's not, that seems to be the spoiler everyone thinks I'm trying to avoid. I'm not. It's actually a different spoiler. It's a spoiler that will ruin two books down the line from Prison of Plastic. The book after that is Sweet Escape, and then the book after that is gonna be Horizontal Pilot Command. And if you watch Anime Campaign, it will ruin Horizontal Pilot Command. And I think that Horizontal Pilot Command is going to be the best book in the series. And it's a mystery, and it's a whodunit, and if you know whodunit, it's ruined. And I just want you, the person listening to me right now, to have the best possible viewing experience so you can read this book and think this is amazing and if you watch these streams i'm worried that it will ruin the experience for you that's why i don't want people to watch these please if you haven't spoiled yourself please don't watch any more of these they are not worth it they're not bad and they get better every episode but everything good about these we are putting into epithet and making it better and it really will be worth it. And if you are one of the people, like this is your first anime campaign thing, like you heard that I didn't want you to watch them and you spent all this time avoiding spoilers and now here you are, holy shit, thank you so much for being that person. I cannot express how happy that makes me. That makes me as happy as I get angry when people in front of me are like, I'm watching anime campaign again and I grab them and I'm like, I told you not to do that. But anyway, yeah. Um, I hope you like it if you waited this long. Thanks. In this world, some people are born lucky. We're all lucky to be here, but some are luckier than others. There are those born with powers known as epithets. Epithets based on a single word that users hold close to their hearts, like fire, or hunter, or soup. They get stronger over time. More proficient, you see. Ain't really something us normal folk the Mondays understand too well. After all, we don't have any powers. And that's just fine by me. Lately, though, I hear tell of a necklace that what you steal epithet powers from their users. Some lady was using it at a tournament down south before it got stolen by some nefarious folk. Infamous gang of outlaws called the Bushido Blasters. At least, that's the word around the watering hole these days. I don't know. But that's not our story. Our story begins in a small town, high up north in the Alpine Mountains. A little ditty known around these parts as Redwood Run. Ain't much up there these days, save a lonely old train stop and a handful of yokels just trying to get by. Yep, it's a sleepy town. At least that's how it usually is. Come sunrise this morning, our old town is full up with them Bushido blasters. Not only that, but there's some that say a terrorist group called Bliss Oceans in town, too. A group what fancies themselves Monday Freedom Fighters. Now don't that just beat all? And that's where we start, as three handsome cow folk roll up to town in a rickety old van. Maybe, just maybe, these'll be the ones who uncover the Bliss Ocean Curiosities. <laughs> oh, this is some this is some sweet production value. Yeah, I'm about to fudge it here. Let's, let's all have a round of applause for the narrative. Yeah, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Thanks, I it took I had to pay a lot of money to get that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys pull up to a shit tier town in your grumbly little undercover van, and you pull up to a gas station that appears to be the entrance to the town off of a highway. You're in a redwood forest, and it took you a few hours to drive up here. You got a call that there are indeed a large number of sightings from yokels of Bushido Blasters and the much more dangerous but less common and less openly shitty about everything Bliss Ocean Crabs, which is what their general ground units are called. As you guys pull up to a sad old gas station with literal oil leaking from everywhere, uh, a man comes out of this little shack? You don't even know what to call it. And he walks over to you, seeing that you guys have a police car. He also has a police car. <laughs> hey there. Uh, you three look like your police officers. 
Er Eros, are we undercover? What, what's our ammo? What are we doing here? Should we tell him we're cops? I don't think that's classified information. We're cops! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm also a cop. Uh, oh. Well, I'm a deputy. The deputy of Redwood Run. I see you got our call from our local sheriff, Goro Shimazaki. Yeah, some things are happening. I'd handle it myself, but I don't want to. So how about you come on down this way and take a look at the town? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, that sounds great and not potentially hazardous in the slightest. Mind the oil, he says, stepping directly in the oil. That's prob probably, that's probably not safe. G gonna be honest. Mm. Mm. Uh. Looking at the <laughs> shitty construction of everything here, Percy frowns. Yeah. Oh god, it's horrible. <laughs> the wood was clearly chopped from trees by people who have never held an axe, and most of the <laughs> roofs are made of sheet metal that, like, is Frankenstein together from a bunch of different cars and shit. <laughs> I'm sure this place will survive. I mean, what? There's only a, a terrorist organization here, and this place is held together with duct tape? This will work fine. This is great. This is nice. I'm glad we're outside. You pass oh. this little sign here that just says, Redwood Run Population Oops. <laughs> Good. Well, at least they're honest. <laughs> All right. You guys follow him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, disappointed. All right. You enter the town proper. Ooh. There are only three buildings. Wow, this is the uh, proper part of the town. That's unfortunate. This is, this is the main part of the town, as you can see as this little town name thing appears here, and then swiftly disappears. <laughs> this is normal when you enter a new location. <laughs> <laughs> proper by comparison, perhaps. As you walk in, you do indeed see maybe two or three people that look like regular humans. Everyone else is dressed in ridiculous costumes. Yeah, they're not even hiding the fact that they're here. So, as you probably know, being real police officers, these yellow folks here are Bushido blasters. Hey, man. And these uh, <laughs> pink ones are Bliss Ocean. Yeah. These two seem to be having an argument about nothing. Yeah, you kids keep on keeping on. You're, you're just letting yeah. them be here? Oh, well, see, the big problem is I'm just the deputy. I'm not allowed to actually arrest anybody. Also, our jail is full. <laughs> full of what? I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> it's full of a prisoner, obviously. What just, do you think we are? Just terrible at our jobs? Just one hey, prisoner. Friends, he's... <laughs> is it a human prisoner or is it a large pine cone of some kind. Or perhaps a ball of lard <laughs> that we're calling a prisoner. Uh. You know, I never asked him if he was a pine cone. I once arrested a pine cone. Good times. That's reassuring. It's true. Well, you do crimes? have to be constantly vigilant for them. Gets out a ring of keys and unlocks this equally very, very shitty building and goes inside. Ah, as you can see, this is our entire jail. Uh, our one cell is occupied by a notorious criminal. Do-ru-ru-ru-ru-ru. ru ru No, that's his name. Not an see, alias he, uh, or nothing? Just straight up uh, his name? I mean, as far as I know, we didn't interrogate him. <laughs> we just arrested him. <laughs> oh, look at that. The door got left open. Oops. <laughs> he doesn't close it. <laughs> are, are you serious? He's a master escape artist. Percy it's frowns and attempts time. to close the door. Yeah, it closes. It's a door. <laughs> Does it lock? She sort of like shoots a glance over to the deputy like, was that so fucking hard, but doesn't say anything. Is there actually a lock on that door or is it just a door? There's a lock, but it's not locked right now. Duraru sort of looks down at the door sadly. <laughs> Are you guys serious? You get, the, you get the impression they didn't leave it open. He opened it, but like, he didn't leave. <laughs> also, as you walk in, this desk is fucking covered in donuts. It's pretty <laughs> gross. There's some like, little league plaque tier things up on the walls. Huh. 
Well, it looks like the sheriff isn't here right now. I'm, a. Uh... Hmm. Well, I am both tired and out of ideas. I'm gonna sit on my trusty rocking stoop and keep watch. Keep watch of what? Uh, you know, <laughs> these criminals. He, he, like, puts down the rim of his hat so he can't see anymore and is clearly about to start napping. Just so you know, as this is out of your jurisdiction area, you can't actually arrest anyone until you have the permission of the sheriff. He might be in the tavern over there. He points to the building across the street down left on the map. Marilyn, Marilyn inspects the nature of these donuts on this desk. Are they all just the same kind of donut? I don't know, are they, Goro? No, there's lots of everything. Um, there's a particularly large amount of uh, chocolate frosted uh, pink sprinkles, though. This has been leaning <laughs> against the door to, like, keep it shut. She carefully steps away, and it looks like it's gonna stay shut, but then it goes like, eh, and, like opens a little. She walks over here. I am livid. <laughs> <laughs> Dururu does a wink and a gun at the door, and it just totally opens again. <laughs> Stop doing that! He brandishes a business card that says Master Escape Artist. No, oh no, I got this. He just stands in front of the door. It slams shut and locks on its own. <laughs> oh my that god. That is impressive. Excellent work, Sergeant. So, Mr. Ruru Ru, if that is your real name. I don't think it is. He just shrugs. It doesn't look like he talks. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, did the sheriff leave a loaded gun on his table? <laughs> <laughs> Meryl checks to see if the gun is loaded. It's indeed loaded. This, well, that's a violation of safety code if I've ever seen one. This is a violation of everything! He could have just walked out and shot somebody! Oh. No! <laughs> he looks at his cell, inspects the gun, and shakes his head like, mm-mm, that's no good, and walks back in the cell. <laughs> Eros just kind of looks around like, I didn't think I left any space. <laughs> he slid out from in between your legs. <laughs> That's... I forgot, I do have quite a wide stance. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that, like, ew, Dururu kind of, like, slinked out like the Grinch stealing Christmas presents. <laughs> We should speak to the sheriff, I suppose. I'm beginning to think there's not a single thing in this town that won't greatly disappoint me. Please tell me there's at least water in this well. Oh, uh, you can't see the bottom. Uh, oh, I forgot to uh, actually show you guys this guy's name, the deputy that is, so let me change that. Thank you, Will, for catching me. Mm -hmm. uh, he retroactively introduced himself to you as Snuffin' To It. <laughs> That's <Same>. fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you, you, Percy, do you have, like, a penny or something? Mm. I have this coinage. She hands you a Canadian dollar. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, you, you, no, this, this is fine. We need all the Canadian luck we can get. I wish, I wish with all my heart that everything works out A-OK -okay and nobody has to die! She throws the coin Wolf. into the well. Roll for ominous wish. <laughs> oh. yeah, that's that's hey. about right for Meryl. <laughs> Standard stuff. Ah, huh, all right. Was there a was there a blink? Was there like uh, any sound to indicate there might be water in this well? There was a thunk. <laughs> oh, but like a weird thunk. <laughs> it probably hit liquid, but it sounded more like mud. Ooh. This guy sitting here, top left of the well, just watching and goes. It's a nice well. <laughs> I don't think it is! I don't think this well is I nice at all! I Percy. spend my days watching the well. Do you get paid to do that? No one gets paid in this town. Oh, there's a dollar down there if you, if you want it. He immediately springs off! <laughs> I've seen in this entire town. I guess there's an open position for well water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're off to a very bad start on the nobody has to die wish. Oh my God. I'm fine, fine, fine. Watching all this with a completely unchanging expression, Percy strokes her chin and looks down the well. Hmm, that is strange. I do not think I've ever been to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> that is no! 
not the thing that's strange here. <laughs> Clearly, this town is abound with mysteries. No, it's not. It's just terrible. There's nothing mysterious about being a shitty town. Why are we all okay with this? I've seen worst. Worst? Gonna go ahead and open the door to the tavern. <laughs> open the door seems like a pretty generous description of what you're doing, seeing as yeah. the door is yeah, on the this ground. The door is on the floor and has clearly been blown off its hinges. This seems more recent. This is easily the nicest building in town. And as you guys what walk does it in, smell like? Like wood and lots of men. <laughs> Alright, so That's... Eros feels comfortable, <laughs> yeah, so let me... just like the cabin back home. I guess I should play this character theme for anything else. Oh Perfect. god. Would yep, so it's scary. Oh. You got a bottle Ooh, yeah. of alphabet, alphabet soup. soup? Yeah. Well, what'd you get? No. I got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Is it loaded? Oh, oh. Well, Is it that guy? That's the cat's gun. Don't touch that. <laughs> That's the putty's gun. <laughs> That's my putty tat. Well, I suppose Haunted. in that case, it could only be used to construct one message. Ooh. Help the situation! Meryl's hand shakes even more. Everyone in the bar takes out a gun. <laughs> Calm down, deputy. Percy tries to like push her hand down. <sighs> so, mm. oh, false alarm! There's no need to point guns. Why do we all, all have right. guns? I don't have a gun. 
The guy downright indeed does not have a gun. Everyone else, including the cat, has a gun. <laughs> I hate this place. Oh, uh, hi, I don't recognize your faces. Are you guys? Oh, you're police officers, aren't you? Yes, how many illegal things are happening? Uh, Give me an exact number or else I won't be able to sleep at night. Probably about, a. Uh, it's 23 on a regular basis. Oh, that's, that's not nearly as bad as I thought it was. Well, huh. there's only it's only a population of, like, 13, so... No, oh, that's horrible! Everyone's committing two crimes a day! Well, <laughs> fractionally <laughs> less than that, technically. Two crimes a day! Yeah, two oh, crimes oh, a day isn't that impressive, this guy well, says. <laughs> De Deputy, Deputy Tootin doesn't commit any crimes. Very, very good at watching. That's what I hired him for, watching. Wait, you hired him, so that means... You're the one responsible for this? She vaguely points with her gun just everywhere. Well, what am I supposed to do, Laura? Anything? Uh, Meryl, our give me a roll. Okay. <laughs> our, clear, our jail is clearly full. We can't fit any other people in there. Maybe a mouse or maybe that cat with the gun over there, but that's about it. it. It might be empty by now, considering the door was open and unlocked. Oh no! Don't worry about that. Uh, Mister Roo Roo Roo, he he's pretty he's pretty good he's pretty good about being cooperative. You he's left like, a loaded oh, gun on your table. Stuff. What? You left a loaded gun on your table. And someone oh, yeah, say that's... loaded gun? This guy flexes. <laughs> oh, oh my! Oh my God, Chad! Let me, is lethal let me... force authorized? He's pointing a gun at me! Yeah, hey, what's up, Goro? Not much! It's been a pretty good day! Ugh, I had some lemon-filled donuts. Mmm, good stuff. Oh, man. Man, that's <clears> pretty <throat> good. Uh, Sheriff okay. Shimazaki, uh, perhaps you could enlighten me as to why you are fraternizing with these criminals rather than arresting them? Well, I can't we... arrest them if I don't have room in my jail. We my prefer the friends. term henchmen, so... Yeah, or, or minions. Minions, good. Or yeah. evil help. Ooh. Marilla. <laughs> Meryl adjusts her glasses and takes in a deep breath. <sighs> Alright. No, th 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 this is fine. Th this, is, this is just fine. This, this is great. How are we supposed to accomplish anything here? Nobody wants to do anything! Oh, no, we do plenty of things. Like eating donuts, and then drinking, and then pointing our guns at places. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> crimes are being committed here so we can leave? Yeah, we were called here for a reason. Yep, because I don't have room in my place. So, I thought maybe you guys could, uh, help me take care of some things in maybe a, uh, more... spacely manner? Do you well, need us to all, build a jail? there's an obvious domestic dispute brewing over here. More importantly, <laughs> um... <laughs> Percy's going to use her vague epithet powers to put this door back in place. Uh -huh. oh, suddenly. Yeah, Average epithet. <laughs> oh, well, that door's been broken for like two weeks. Thank you. Okay, one problem solved. Like, uh, a bunch to go. Let's see here. Bugsley, if you look at his table, he actually has a frying pan with some fried eggs. He sets it up and then just slams the side of it to catapult some fried eggs over at Arnold's table. So let's see how he does. Ah! <laughs> Bad. Completely whoops. Are eggs a crime? No, Dude. eggs are not a crime. I guess he's he's uh, sharing his food with the rats that'll be coming out tonight. I'm sure they'll appreciate the eggs on the floor. I missed it. This egg. is a new vest, you total cad. Oh, I don't even know what that means. But it sounds rude. And being rude is mean. Yup, that about sums up the word. Okay, everyone without a name, get out of spray and pray range. This could get ugly. No uh -huh. one thinks you have any authority at all. Well, everyone has a name, you just haven't asked us. Hello, I'm Greg. Meryl points her gun at him. Don't! 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 Holy! I got a name! You Holy. can't shoot me! Everyone pulls out their gun again. Don't go pointing names at me! All right. Hey, Chad. Chad. Chad, do you think you could uh take all your friends out here for a little bit, just so things don't get really messy? I don't want you guys to get hurt. Well, uh, I'll have to ask my boss. Hey, hey, Bugsley. 
Hey, Bugsley Bugsler! Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? Goro wants everyone to leave. <laughs> what are we gonna do? What should I tell him? You know what? We don't we don't need these guys. I got I got a train to catch anyhow. Whoop, that's a tumbleweed. Excuse me, tumbles. I got Hey, go. I was playing cards against that tumbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, based on your hand, you were losing pretty <laughs> bad. Well, anyway. <laughs> Shh, shut up! It's poker, dick! <laughs> see you, I'll see you tomorrow, Bugsley. <laughs> yeah, you won't. Uh, Chad, do me a solid. <laughs> Get rid of him. <laughs> Bye. You give me. Wait, our guys are there, guys. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Uh. Oh, hang on, hang on. Crap, crap, crap. Uh. Yeah, wait. Hang on. That sounded like a threat. Right. He notices all of your blue uniforms. Oh, these guys are cops. Ha 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 ha. Hehe. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> you didn't see a thing. Kill him. Why? <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you later. No, you won't. <laughs> he runs off past this game of hopscotch. <laughs> <laughs> Can all of you give me a roll? It, uh, everyone seems to go like, oh shit. Looks like we got the orders. Looks like things are finally going down. Looks like combat has started. Looks like Percy's going last. <laughs> Looks like Meryl's exactly jumpy enough to do this. Yes, Jesus, Percy. <laughs> yep. well, right. I need to analyze the situation. Hmm. All right. I need to build Clearly. some confidence. All right, so as all these guys had guns, they don't draw them. They just like put up their fists. Meryl, it is your turn. Oh, uh, Jello, can I... I... I mean, it doesn't really matter yet, but I get to pick one square adjacent to me to have a foundation on, right? You sure do. Let me grab you a foundation. I, I think I'll put it here. There you go. Thank you. So, Meryl, what are you doing? All right. Well, uh, Meryl, already with her, uh, with her gun out and pointed at this guy who apparently has a name, which is a great relief to Meryl, like, hey, name's Greg. Good to see ya. Greg, I'm really glad you have a name, because it greatly increases your chances of surviving this! I'm gonna what? use spreading disease. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. So Raz out and fire your automatic pistol in all directions. Good luck. Roll for it. Average. All right, that is exactly average. So uh, I will let you hit two dudes. Uh, which dude were you aiming at? Uh, I was, I, I believe it was this guy. <laughs> so uh, that'll be this dude, and then That's these two Chad. guys. Like, jeez! Oh. oh my God, oh. Chad! But, but those oh. are my, those are my friends. What, what? The pink ones are like, yeah, serves you right, nerds. <laughs> oh, you guys are next for this spray of AOE that I have very little control over. Ha, not if I leave. Oh, not not if you leave. Uh, I I can move diagonally freely, right? <laughs> um, yes. Alright. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, well, okay, no, hang on, sorry. Uh, you were here, right? Yeah. You, uh, every two diagonal, diagonals are one and a half, so it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Is okay. as far as you can get. That's fine, that's good enough. Jeez! She shot me! She shot me right in the hip! Oh, oh, that's that gonna was, be rough. All right. That was really rude. Dude, she said something right. about spreading disease. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I, I don't know. want disease. I don't want any disease right now. All right, well, you go. shouldn't let's have been evil. All we did was walk towards you menacingly like this, and now all we're gonna do is punch you like this. They all, they all <laughs> fight you. Oh my god. Oh jeez. None of them hit. They'll go. Eh, eh, and you kind of go. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> okay. I'm bleeding a lot, so I'm a little distracted. <laughs> and uh, these these two up here are sort of just like, oh, shit. And they just like get ready, and this one moves towards Percy, and it's like, I'm gonna try my best, and punches you. Uh, you take one damage. <laughs> I did it. I'm gonna get promotion. Percy glowers uh, at him. Uh, Goro, it's your turn. Oh, uh, I really don't want to hurt any of these. They're my friends. But, uh, I guess I have to. Yeah, you tell him, Goro. 
Punch him in the butt. Punch him in the butt? Weren't you the sheriff that called us to deal with these friends of yours? Well, yeah. You definitely but... were. <laughs> yeah, but since they're still my friends, we don't have to be rough with them, do we? It's a little late to not be rough with them considering the amount of bullets I've discharged! <laughs> yeah, dude, you shot first! He's going to, to punch this person in the butt! <laughs> Alright. Okay, that's perfect. That is not his weapon at all, but... There we go! Yeah, you can, you can punch people if you want. Alright, so you're punching that one in the butt? Go yep. for it. <laughs> Wait, are you punching arrows or this girl? <laughs> this girl. If you're a punch, okay. miss. <laughs> You'd right, hit his so titanium we... buttocks. You go for the punch, and you kind of accidentally forget to close your fist, and it ends up just being a slap. So it does two damage, but you're sure creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff, what uh, is the meaning of this? I think misogyny's okay in a firefight. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not someone to get mad at pleasure, but there's a time and a place, Sheriff. I really I really didn't mean to do that, I, I promise. Just move away from that situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just get out of there. All right, here I am. All right, Eris. Assault on an officer is a pretty hefty charge, and I'm going to have to take you down with force. So he's going to use his what was it called again? Pole ice staff. <laughs> his police staff. It's a pole staff. Yeah, he's gonna hit this one because he punched Percy or she, whichever. Yeah. And that's that. Uh, that that's a whack uh, for four damage. Ah, gee, ugh, my promotion is gone. <laughs> Howdy. Oh God, he gets a turn. A good old. Fashion brawl! He walks over here and picks up this shotgun. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, a am blind! <laughs> <laughs> that's the spirit! Wait, no, that's terrible! <laughs> he loads the shotgun up with something and fires at the last voice he heard, which was Meryl's. The shotgun was filled with alphabet soup, which splatters over everybody in this direction. Oh, <laughs> what does it say? It says, ah! <laughs> that is Howdy's turn. Uh, I'm gonna roll to see if the gun goes off. The cat's gun. The cat's gun? Boy, he's fiddling with it, it might go off. Oh, I'm, fine. I'm fine with that, I was just making sure. Oh, the cat gets shot in the face! <laughs> the cat shoots Howdy in the eye, and he doesn't blink. Yep, that's how they went the first time! <laughs> I'm gonna go boogie! <laughs> Howdy over here and falls over. Don't worry, I'm a trained medical professional almost! <laughs> Roll for buff. Uh, pretty good. That's great! Maybe you can cure my several diseases! Maybe! Percy, Percy's going to convert this foundation into a wizard tower. At the cost of three stamina. All right. So, for those of you unfamiliar with how a wizard tower works, uh, anyone in this range, every turn, will randomly any enemy will randomly hit by a eight point damage bolt of lightning. Jeepers! What? Here you go. Ah, that's ah. dangerous. <laughs> Give me a roll to see how accurate it is in general. Did the uh, the, the the crabs act? No, they didn't. They were supposed to move, I think. Oh, well, they'll go after this then. Okay. okay. Thanks, Jula. So you get off a shot with that I still haven't seen. Four, that is closest <laughs> to this girl. Uh, so she is hit by a bolt of lightning and immediately flies against a wall and passes out. Oh, my promotion, she says. <laughs> oh, jeez. We we were doing a bar brawl and you brought magic. Oh, you brought magic into a bar brawl. And we were nice enough to forget our turn. <laughs> um, so this crab, being nice enough to forget her turn, does indeed whip out her pistol and she goes, I'm gonna kill it! And stupidly shoots at the wizard tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's destroyed! <laughs> she brilliantly shoots at the wizard right, tower. Right before that, they complain about me bringing out magic. Percy says, like, yeah. that's right. The law knows lo no limits in its execution. 
fuck. Well. <laughs> <laughs> this one, bottom right, the dude, will also whip out a gun and shoot Percy. Uh, no, he won't. He will shoot the gummy bears off the table. Uh, these two over here, who are covered in noodles, run over here and... Uh, this one is going to take the gun away from the cat. <laughs> that's how successful he is. Yeah, all right, he takes it. Uh, okay, that's just that's just dangerous. And this one's like, eh, I've been meaning to take a swing at these guys all night. And he just punches one of the Bushido blasters. Oh. Pretty well. Oh my god. Uh, that's got a good hit. for damage. Yeah. They're not very strong. All right, so this one's like, oof. He's not dead, though. All right, uh, that's their turn. Meryl, you Second. are caught between several men. <laughs> Which makes Meryl very uncomfortable. And when Meryl is uncomfortable, she uses spread disease. <laughs> all right, go for it. You're in pretty close quarters. Oh, uh, yeah, that's successful. That's going to hit all three of the Bushido blasters immediately around you. So Just say are... no! Oh, it worked. This one is gone now. He's, he oh. passes out. By the way, guns in this universe, non-lethal. They're like Final Fantasy guns. Outside of cutscenes. All right. Oh, okay. I was kind of worried. So he's just passed out on the ground. Ooh. Oh no, Mark. <laughs> we were gonna see Venice. Well, he's not dead, you right. know. I want to go. Uh, let's uh, just hop and skip and jump over that guy. Accidentally stepping on his chest mid hop. <laughs> All right. That's what you get for breaking the law by uh, uh, hmm. Is lethal force authorized if they're just sort of being assholes in a pub? No. What do you no. think, Percy? Unfortunately it's... not. Oh. It's the Bushido Buster's turn. This one immediately goes over to Chad and without even saying anything, just starts mouth to mouthing him. <laughs> in a way that like, clearly he probably is one to do this with a Dude, what the hell? He gets back up more from shock than anything else. <laughs> I just, I thought now was a good time. You thought now was a good time. I've got a bullet in my throat. Dude, not right now. This one's like, all right, this is not a thing that's going on. Uh, this one still doesn't enjoy Meryl and isn't going to let her get away with that bullshit. Uh, she's going to take a swing. Uh, yeah, it's three damage. This one is not going to attack Goro because Goro's a friend. So this one is going to uh, try his best and attack the mountain of man in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you can do this, Greg. Uh, <laughs> that's two damage. I just stare down at him. With your hard eyes. With my hard eyes. And oh. these two get next to each other, and both of them level their guns at Percy, but don't shoot. They're just like, okay, man. Okay, uh, small boy. Just calm down and don't summon any more of those, and they're going to roll to intimidate. Wait, um, oh. it's not their turn, though. Oh, shit, you're right. No, they, they won't do any of that, then. They get ready to do that. <laughs> That's their turn. Not like That's Percy can do anything about it. They're like, hold on, we, we're gonna try and intimidate you. And Percy's like, all right, I'll consider it. Goro's <laughs> <laughs> gonna try to end this fight, um, at least the, the one that's over there in the corner, by using Blast Furnace. And I'm just gonna try to target this whole, like, east floor. Yeah, okay. Nine! Uh, you get the two blasters who just made out with each other and they go, oh, and slam against the wall and both of them pass out. <laughs> Dude, you wanna should mouth them out you again? Fucking stop. <laughs> <laughs> the crabs are like, God, these guys suck. <laughs> Eris. It's taking off my jacket of free action. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh God, he's gonna reveal his nipples. <laughs> As you reveal your nipples, your muscles bulge out a little and you become stronger. Chad, why can't you be like him? Dude, I'm passed out right now. Shut up. Assaulting <laughs> an officer was a grave error. I'm gonna take this guy in front of me with my staff. With what? Your pole? Okay. <laughs> yeah, my pole. That was a necessary question. Alright. Uh, yeah, you do some damage to him. Uh, you, you do three. And he... He backs away a little, like that was a pretty strong swing. You wanna move? I'll move here to just give some some intimidation to these two guys who look like they're about to do something. Yeah, they look like they're about to intimidate, but as they see you come over, they're like slightly less confident. All right, uh, Howdy continues wriggling on the ground. He does nothing. <laughs> uh, these two will take that intimidation and try again now that Eros is also there, and they will each level a gun at one of you. 
these two seem to be the only competent people in the room that aren't you. Goro excluded, obviously. <laughs> uh, these two are like contemplating leaving. They, this one walks up to Goro. Dude, I saw you try to do that. I saw you try to hit us with that thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, man, what the heck? I was just trying to stop the fight. I promise. You want to go out for donuts again on Sunday? You know, I do, but I think you've hurt my feelings, and I'm not sure if I can accept that right now. Oh, I apologize. Okay. Well, <laughs> as long as you're sorry and you change your actions in the future, I feel a little bit better. Yeah, no, Goro, you're a cool guy. Just come on, man. You're a cool guy. They spend their turn talking to Goro. <laughs> These guys are still criminals! <laughs> Meryl's words fall on deaf ears. <laughs> okay. So, is is the intimidation sufficient that Percy is compelled not to construct another wizard tower? If it was anyone but Percy, probably, but no. You have no respect for these losers. I'm afraid the requests of a criminal have fallen on deaf ears today. Percy's just gonna go ahead and build this here. Give me a roll for accuracy on fire. Lightning bolt. Okay, that's a pretty good lightning bolt. Uh, and let's roll a d12 to see who it hits. 12, so uh, uh, that is going to hit this guy up here, the Bushido Blaster. He's also flung against a wall and immediately passes out. We'll compromise. I won't immediately turn its powers against you if you surrender. Surrender to the law. <laughs> roll for the law. <laughs> roll for a uh, roll counter intimidate, basically. Okay. All right, whatever. <laughs> no one thinks you're cool. Uh, look at girl. Dude, tell your friend to stop shooting lightning. <laughs> We're just punching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I mean, Marilla, we, have, we have guns, but didn't want to shoot nobody. All right. One, two, three. I don't want to shoot anybody either, but unfortunately, it's way too late for that one. Uh, I'm gonna use lethal injection on the girl that punched me. Oh boy. All right. Uh, let me look at lethal injection real quick. Jesus Christ. Okay. Give me a roll. Six. That is just good enough not to hit a teammate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so boy. you fire your entire clip out a little to the left and out the door. <laughs> and, <laughs> and just barely misses this Bushido Blaster and then just barely misses this crab outside. Uh, surrender? Does it hit the fruit vendor up here? <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, it definitely explodes some oranges. <laughs> the fruit vendor goes, Yep, I knew when I became a fruit vendor that my wares would be destroyed for the sake of action shots. <laughs> <laughs> Is the door okay? The door has been on the floor the entire, like, before he even got here, so well, no. no Percy fixed, fixed it. Percy fixed it. Oh, shit. Oh, no, it's it's destroyed again. Sorry. <laughs> I guess it's going to be broken for another two weeks. Seeing this happen, Percy goes, What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Meryl, good turn. I tried. Uh, this, Bushi this Bushido Blaster uh, looks to her left and then looks to her right and then is going to attempt to sprint away. And she gets caught on the splinters of this now half a door <laughs> and takes the damage. Yo, Julie, what's going on in there? I saw you fix the door and it broke again. Also, those oranges got blocked. Goro, your turn. Goro's gonna spend his turn talking to these two crabs. Yeah, but yes, yeah, donuts on Sunday, you know, the usual, and we can- yeah, don Donuts on Sunday sound good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, can talk about the we might be back home. How long does it you know, take to plan buying donuts? Look, man, we have to divvy up the rides, we have to divvy up the gas money, we have to divvy up the donut funds. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long process. Yeah, and we have to uh, watch the latest episode of Game of Thrones. These two look placated, and they go, okay, yeah. They, uh, both of them are gonna exit. Yeah, see so you guys, uh, mostly Goro. They walk on and step past this girl <laughs> as they exit. Oh, dude, you stepped on Julie. Julie's out cold. Uh, these two are like, are, are we the only ones who are good at anything? Uh, and they are both gonna shoot arrows. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, they God. aren't. Both of them miss. You're gonna know. wanna try that again? No, we're fine. We'll just uh, slowly head out. They walk uh, uncomfortably close to the wizard tower <laughs> and only get that far. Eros, your turn. So I'm definitely not intimidated by these guys anymore. 
Oh no, they suck. Seeing as the situation that does happen, I'm gonna have to ask you to surrender your possessions. So I'm gonna use bare basics on the one right next to the wizard tower. Hey. His gun pops out of his hand and flies off and lands next to the cat who immediately takes possession of it. <laughs> and uh, his bandana flies off and he covers his face. Oh no, someone's gonna know who I am. <laughs> Maybe. You're all identical. That's racist towards us, probably. <laughs> that, that, is, that is pretty racist. Not gonna lie. You guys are getting hung up on the wrong thing. <laughs> Criminals are people too even if they are the lowest form of human life. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead, Percy. Mm. Percy looks sadly at the destroyed remains of her first tower and the destroyed remains of the door and has a little existential crisis about <laughs> all of her work coming to nothing. <laughs> I'll dismantle this tower if you agree to surrender to the law. Dude, we were leaving. Yeah, all, all right, all right, cool. Uh, this one still covering his face, worried about Eros' ability to rip clothing off of people with a touch, <laughs> uh, is a little worried. So, combat has ended, and the tower is dismantled as combat is over. So before anything else happens, <clears throat> you each get a level up in either stamina or proficiency. Please move into the zone which you'd prefer. Here you go. <clears throat> What's everybody's stamina right now? Big. At 20? Everyone's one. is good except Percy's. <laughs> is it just okay. one stamina or one proficiency? It is two stamina or one proficiency. Okay. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Percy, uh, you go ahead and add your two stamina. Each of you guys get proficiency. And coincidentally, all three of you are at levels where you will get something new. Eros, as your proficiency goes up to 15, you get plus one damage to your magnum ability, which you didn't use, but now it does eight damage instead of seven, I think is what it is, right? Yeah, it Maybe. does seven. We'll figure that. So. For Meryl, your pistol gets an upgrade. It now either does plus one damage or has plus two range. What do you want? Plus one damage. All right, that now does five damage, you terrifying team killer. Uh, <laughs> Goro. Uh, Blast Furnace can now be used as an interrupt. Nice! And that is your level ups. Yay, team. Uh, Meryl, you want to help out Howdy Morning? Who is not in a good way. <laughs> oh, all right. Huh. Time to put all my medical training to test. Uh, hmm, how, how much was that? Uh, Meryl thinks back to her, uh, to her night schooling on being a field medic. Oh, you don't have to worry about Howdy. Howdy always seems to pop back up somehow. No, 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 no. Uh, no, I, I, I can do this, I can do this. Uh, I, I, I believe in myself. <laughs> All right, Last I'm gonna... words. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I'm gonna use instant relief point blank on Howdy's face. Give me a roll first. You load your painkillers into your gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh and... Oh no. oh no. And mom's spaghetti. <laughs> and boy oh boy, do you shoot his tooth out. <laughs> oh, oh is that an improvement? Did you have a cavity? Well, I can see now inexplicably. <laughs> uh, this guy looks over. What the uh, hell are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Cody does pretty good. He, 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 uh, he'll pop back up out of nowhere just the next day you'll come and he can see it again and, and taste and sometimes touch. I never die. I used to be a government experiment. <laughs> there's, there's a body behind my tavern. These are all things that he can say and nobody asks him anything about it. It just gets what, sadder what, if what? you ask questions, says this man at the bar. I've heard all of his stories. It's really not worth hearing. Unless you want to have a bad day. I'm already <laughs> having a bad day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Uh, good work, team. Time for some constructive criticism. Uh, I don't think I shot people very well. Sorry! Sorry about <laughs> right, slapping uh, your butt! These two uh, unsubtly try and book it for the door. Uh, let's see how well they do. Not good. Eros unsubtly walks next to them. <laughs> well, oh, now. shit, yeah. What do we do with these guys? Who took the torture classes? Wow, I thought we could just, you know, 
go. Yeah, yeah, uh, we've got appointments. Uh, Goro, we're friends. Can't we go? You yeah, have amnesty uh, they can, they can go. They can go. What do you no, mean? they can't. <laughs> you called us here to take them like, to yeah, our but, jails. But, but they're my friends. So yeah. what? <laughs> you, you can take all of the, uh, the, 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 the blasters, because uh, they're down and out right now, I guess. But... Why don't we take everyone? <laughs> Why is hey, this man, a problem? Just... Goro, I thought we were cool, man. Why are you siding well, with them? Why are you siding with the Bliss Ocean Crabs? No, 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 don't listen to him. I'm friends with them. You stayed right on my Percy. friend there in the doorway. Per Percy shakes her head sadly, stands between the two of them, outstretches a hand, and rebuilds the door to block him from <laughs> <laughs> It's built, but it's no better than it's ever been. Well, it seems it's like a contradiction that they are good guys and criminals. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to be one or the other. They're just doing what their bosses tell them to do. They don't have they don't have control over the, who their bosses are. It's a job, man. Oh, okay, okay. I have a team, team team meeting, guys. Team meeting. Yeah. You, you're not part of the team. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you have done nothing to assist us in this endeavor. Yeah. So uh, what hey, are we thinking? Hey. <laughs> 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 Meryl stares at these two. All right. <laughs> You know that Goro single-handedly technically took out four people. <laughs> <laughs> I would have gotten to it. All right, now just just spitballing here. Okay. What if we find Snip. your boss, beat him up, and then arrest you guys, regardless of what Goro wants? Whoa! Okay. Boy, oh boy, do I like the first step of that plan. <laughs> yeah, the, fir the first step's pretty good. I could get behind that. Um, now I have some I have some feedback on steps two <laughs> through three. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I'm always willing to hear feedback. No. <laughs> yeah, no. What if we ended at step one to save time? <laughs> that way you could capture more of these awful bushido blasters. Mur, 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 says some guy on the other side of the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what what do you guys think, Percy? Uh, Eros. L listen, I know. I you know what. I'm sorry, is your name Percy and or Eros? Whoa, whoa, whoa! The one with the gun. Hey, whoa, listen here. Okay. We all have guns! I know you got guns and I got guns, but I'm I have guns a sword, scary. actually. <laughs> oh, That's wow, you are horrifying. Listen, That's... listen. Why do, you, I get... why do you have a sword? To cut off the kneecaps of people who don't cooperate. Don't, yeah. don't why do you have shame. a sword? I don't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I, listen, Merle, was it? Listen, I totally get what the problem is. You don't trust us? I got an idea. Uh, he's gonna start dragging Bushido blasters on the bear rug and rolling them up. Look at that! I captured them! I captured them! I'm on your side! Okay, get in the bear rug. Meryl, I think we can agree that, uh, apprehending these miscreants boss is the most important thing. And if, uh, a few of the small fry, she does a big, a finger quotes thing, uh, have to be used as bait, then that's simply how we'll have to play this. You see, sometimes you're the bait, <laughs> and sometimes you're the fish. Other times you might be the fisherman. Sometimes they try to sneak out. <laughs> so it's just possible there. someone might oh, take on the role of the fishing pole in this analogy. I, I'm not entirely certain. No, 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 I, I get where you're going with All right, so the plan is we'll shoot them in the kneecaps, we'll leave them in the center of town crying out for the boss's help, then when he shows up, we'll beat the hell of them. All right, so... Mm. Oh, they left I while you were doing that long, confusing analogy. What? Oh, what? sorry, I was having a daydream. It makes them look... <laughs> what time I tried Era to make says them? fully erect. <laughs> <laughs> this man leans into another chair. <laughs> He has to, there's simply no room. <laughs> you see, one time, one time I tried to make, uh, anchovy donuts, and they tasted really bad, but that, that was fish, right? And we're talking about fish? Yes, anchovies are indeed a type of fish, one that you might catch, although they're rather small, so I feel as though they might be more appropriate as the bait in this analogy. Now, hold on, how do you get the bait? You have to catch the bait, right? Well, in some cases, uh, worms or small insects can be used as bait, depending on the type of fish, or so I'm told. Well, how do you get the insects? Well, we have some outside. Did someone say insects? Howdy says, slamming down a mug of beetles. <laughs> Wow! 
I will take yeah. that jar of beetles. In, in response to, like, you gotta catch the insects, too, Percy is like, it just, like, stares into the distance, like, my god, has it all been wrong? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a real good job you did murdering all my customers, like. How about you take a reward and use the outhouse out back as a break? Or don't. Oh, well, yeah, that's a pretty nice outhouse. I, 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 I could go for an outhouse visit. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Morning, was it? Uh, yep. Do you happen to know... Uh, one of those men mentioned a train he had to catch. Is there a station around these parts? Oh, yeah, that's the only reason the town really exists. There's a train station a little bit to the west, or in a lefterly direction, you might say. Hmm, mm, I see. Thank you Want for your... Want some interest. beetles? <laughs> you know what? Yes. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I decided that I couldn't pass up on the beetles. Everyone has a nice bonding moment, and they share a glass of beetles. You know insects are actually a surprisingly good source of protein. Sometimes yep. you might be forced to extremes, in which case, they might just save your life. <laughs> <laughs> I had a nickel for every time my life was saved by a beetle, I'd have a Canadian dollar! <laughs> I can think of another way you'd have a Canadian dollar. I wonder if that guy's okay. <laughs> No, he, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't save them all. I know from experience. <laughs> we get it, you're sad. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a lunge. <laughs> ah, false alarm. <laughs> well then, let's not waste any time. I don't think there's a way that we can play this out without wasting more time. Yo, let's, let's, uh... Let's go well, check we'll out that try to waste as little time as possible. We can make a game of it. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure the outhouse is back here. Yep. Whoever wastes the least time will get a shiny new Canadian dollar when this is all over. How many of those do you have? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a it's a really nice uh, it's a really nice outhouse. And uh, one time we as went. As Goro to... says that, you all notice the toilet paper on the outside of the outhouse. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> And one time we went bobbing for toilet apples mm -hmm. in here, and it was a really great time. And we invited the whole town, and the Bushido Blasters were here. And wait, 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 wait! <laughs> toilet apples has branding all the way out here. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty incredible, right? Oh, uh, so Goro, are you, are you opening the door? Hmm. All right. Uh, oh, no. You walk into a very nice outhouse that actually has a free proficiency point for whoever goes in first for taking up Howdy on his generous offer. So Nope, you, whoever opens it first just gets it. So, Goro. I guess he has it. Hmm. I would have given it to yep. somebody else. Wow, okay. that's a nice outhouse. It has a great tumbleweed. tumbleweed. <laughs> I'm using this, the tumbleweed <laughs> seems to say, without saying anything, because it's a tumbleweed. <laughs> well then. Hey, I Percy. Put it back on. Yes. I think these guys are playing hopscotch. No. The grid oh, okay, of numbers played. would seem to suggest exactly that, yes. Well, I, I mean, I'm only bringing this up because this is somehow going to be a problem. How so? Aren't we supposed to go that way? Well, yeah, the, the bosses, the hideouts are all over there, I believe. Right, so I'm just trying, because everything's been backwards today. So somehow them playing hopscotch is going to be an impassable wall of problems. Oh, Not too bad, Crab. Yeah, thanks a lot, Bushido Blaster. They uh, hate whoa. each other. <laughs> Not to worry, Meryl. There's nothing to fear from chalk. <laughs> Yo, eyebrows, you want in? I don't have a single person I can confide anything in. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, We're oh, in a hurry to get to the train station. Is it this way? Oh, uh, wait. We're in the middle of a crazy hopscotch tournament. Been knocking these crabs down. Yeah, it's, I it's, will it's, start it's, shooting people. I, you got a gun. No, no, no. I want to play. Whoa! I, I look in every direction. I'm so freaked out right now. <laughs> holy, holy gang! Whoa! I Sorry. Mean, we just, jeez. We would have let you through, but if you're packing a gun, we we got to guard this way. Yeah, and I'm I'm also assigned with guarding this way. Oh, but, but for different reasons. Yeah, fuck you. I I, I was really hoping to join the game. I, uh... I guess that'll have to be another day. Oh man, go for it. <laughs> really? Really? Okay, I'm gonna roll the hopscotch here. He oh. trips. <laughs> Alright man, that was a good try. Everyone give a round of applause for Yeah, it was good. Yeah, no. 
Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm sorry, guys, I didn't do very good, Maybe. but thank you. Man, he smudged the chalk, though. It'll take yeah. a while to fix that. Hey, everyone, oh. everyone come here and help. Everyone come here and help. They all Man, come here and it help. Is, it is so hard to use chalk on sand. <laughs> it is really, really awful. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> Way <Wow. instructive. laughs> I believe there's replacement chalk over here. Do you need me help? Yes, we need, we need your help procuring this chalk to help them with oh. the hopscotch. And it's right over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And we're the bad guys, right? Come on, ruin the game of hopscotch. Hey, get off the board, crab! Man, fuck you. Alright. Oh, no, fuck oh. you! <laughs> I don't think this is how we were supposed to be. Oh, this shirt. Oh, oh boy. Man, Jello's icon. Aram, you know my icon. This is Howie Honeyglow. He is a construction worker for hire. You've worked with him before. And taken jobs from him occasionally. But you guys have a friendly rivalry. Mm. So he's good at his job. He's oh, he's amazing. Mm. He's like unbelievably fast. When uh, when she she walks out, if he happens to notice her, there's probably a little like anime spark of lightning between them. It's like <laughs> ah. <laughs> you see a very large cutscene going on behind you, but everyone seems to ignore it as how he walks over to you. Oh, are there well, people well, back here? Well. I'm facing towards this way. <laughs> <laughs> He's man, watching our six. That... He's just like, man, I hope they figured out that hopscotch board. <laughs> well, well, well. If it ain't Percival King. Howie. How <laughs> Percy. you been? Sorry, was that supposed to be like a play on my name or are you just being your awkward self? I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess everything's going fine. Ain't it, fellas? Two androgynous fellas sort of like tip their caps at you. We were hired to uh, repair this clock tower up at the train station. You look over at the train station, which is owned by the Toilet Apples Corporation and filled to the fucking brim with toilet apples. Yeah, see, I told you the toilet apples are around here. Damn, those toilet apples. They taste like shit, but they have great branding. Like, uh, oh, did you see Regional Below Tournament last year? That was pretty good. God, no. I have that, standards. That was a week ago. Oh, well, did you see it last week? <laughs> <laughs> Still no. What well, if it's, if it's the first cool. week of January, it could have taken place last year. <laughs> <laughs> nice save. A noble cause, Howie. Who, who contracted yeah. you? It doesn't seem like anyone in this village would have had the presence of mind. Well, it was actually Goro. Well, a little bit Goro <laughs> in that I had to talk to him. To Meryl barely wow. looks at Goro. She doesn't believe he could do anything. <laughs> I mean, he p signed part of a piece of paper, but uh, yeah, the actually the uh, Apple Corporation. This is a necessary train stop for going up north and clock's gotta be on time. It's been stopped for years. There's birds yep. in there. <laughs> uh, sorry about uh, taking so long to get somebody to fix that. Uh, how, how's the process going? Well, uh, the fellas are doing pretty good, ain't you, fellas? They fella. Yep. <laughs> uh, they they aren't they ain't quite as fast when I uh, when I'm not helping them. He like zooms up almost incredibly quickly and begins like working on shit as though he's three times faster than he should be. <laughs> you know for a fact he doesn't have an epithet. He's just insane. Uh, impressive. Hey, yep. hey, Eros. Yes? Eros, I'm not the only one seeing this mass of dudes, right? Everyone else is just kind of ignoring it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been keeping an eye on them. Okay, just, just making absolutely certain. Right. They haven't moved oh, at all you. in five minutes, so I'm sure they're doing fine. Oh, oh yeah, that, that, that's... that's it's normal. They're like this all the time. Oh, they're best friends, you see. <laughs> I think that's a lie. <laughs> Detecting lies. <laughs> oh, I get the feeling this town's only big enough for one of them. Well, well. Well, well. <laughs> Mate, are you okay? Are we gonna have to pause again? <laughs> no, I'm just... <laughs> I just have trouble <laughs> breathing over my chins. So how he how he leans off of the clock tower. He ate one of the birds that flew out. <laughs> Stand aside. I just need to get through. <laughs> Why are you suddenly southern? <laughs> that bird. Kentucky <laughs> chicken. <laughs> Ah. You are what you eat. <laughs> no stand aside. 
need to get that straight. <laughs> you know I can't do that. You're trying to get that necklace onto this train, and I can't allow that. As per my orders, you notice the four people standing next to Arnold are the ones who, like, directly waltzed out of the, uh... <laughs> bar. The the two on the left are Goro's friends and they wave at you. The other two kind of like awkwardly and pointedly try to avoid eye contact. Um, um Goro waves happily like, hey friendos! We found your man on the train who was just disguised waiting for you to hand off that necklace that steals epithets. You guys are all aware this necklace exists. It was big news. Yeah, and we sure. got him right here. Hey boss, I tried real hard and I didn't get very far. Yeah, no, you didn't. You froze it back. You, you, did, you did fine, Steven. <laughs> All right, fine. I don't know if you noticed, Arnold, but there's a lot more of us than there are of you. Because there's only huh. one. Of you. He seemed to legitimately not notice that. Yeah, well, I guess all my men didn't come back, but that's fine <laughs> because I'm very strong and a very good commander. And I have a very powerful epithet that I will not hesitate to use. How many guys did you bring? Because I lost way more in that bar than you. Oh my gosh, I lost like... I came here with 70 dudes. Oh, this man. was a big mission. Have you checked the well? A lot of people have been falling in there. <laughs> you know, the last time I walked by it, I just saw like the butt end of a person sticking out of it. I didn't really want to investigate. But. Listen. This is the first mission I'm in charge of officially as a commander. I finally got promoted from a crab. They all go, yeah, good job, man. Good job, man. Yeah, what thank you. Know, you. a lobster? <laughs> yes! Nailed it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's sad. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you You know you what else is sad? Eating oh. a bur- oh, oh. All right, looks like this is happening, man. <laughs> uh, right. Combat has started. In oh. general, how he sort of looks over at that like fucking calamity goes. As long as they don't touch the clock tower, I don't give a hoot. Oh yeah, they they do this all the time. Uh, and, uh, usually it ends up with uh, some people passed out, but I promise they're best friends. They're doing their job. It's fine. So yeah. long as everyone does their thing. What are you guys, police officers? Yeah, we all are actually, but uh, some of us more have... so than others. <laughs> yeah, we're not best. <laughs> he hops down. Well, best of luck. I'm gonna be here doing my thing. Yeah, just let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else I can uh, do for you, like bring some donuts. Do you need any assistance with that, Howie? <laughs> Nobody uh, cares. <laughs> well, he turns to Goro first. Well, you know, I, I actually did run out of honey, which is. I don't, I don't need it to work, but I feel certainly better doing it if I got the honey. He does, he does. The fellas <laughs> nod in unison. Oh, oh, yes, I, I have some honey back at the, uh, back at the office. I use it on donuts. All right. Sometimes. All right, well, maybe grab that after you do your job, because that's, that's the most important thing. And, uh, Percy, you know I'm fine. I appreciate the help. He doesn't. <laughs> Clear rivalry. Mm. <laughs> Uh, combat has started. Looks like Meryl's the only one freaking out again. <laughs> Percy, <laughs> you're the strategist. How do you think we should handle this? Well, well I know how I'm handling this. Right. Is to establish a defensive perimeter. <laughs> but it looks like Meryl is going to go and do her thing first. Howie. For the love yeah. of God. You are the first person I've seen here who seems like they know anything about anything. Well, thank you. Thanks. And I'm... I'm trying to do my job here. I respect that. I'm glad. I'm really glad. These guys don't seem to respect it. Anyway, I need as much help as I can here. How should I approach this? What do you think? Like, well, are they just gonna I... kill each other? Can we just stand here and wait? What do we do? Well, if everyone does their goddamn job like they're supposed to, <laughs> they're probably gonna attack each other, because I reckon they don't like each other much. And then I'm gonna guess they'll friends. keep attacking each other. I hate you, Arnold. <laughs> and eventually, as you are police officers, you will attempt to arrest them, I assume. He looks at Goro. I assume too, but every time I've assumed wrong. Well, I don't really have any space. Oh, that's right, that's right. Oh, I have you guys now. We can take out, we can actually take the boxes this time. Oh, huh. huh. okay, okay. I'm just right. gonna hang over here and wait for the dust to settle so we can swoop in. That sound all right? Yeah, I, 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 I am. I was not talking to you. 
<laughs> Howie shrugs whatever and continues doing his goddamn job. Yeah, I'll stay out of your way. Uh, Bugsley is just gonna go, <laughs> I don't care. All right, here we go. And he eats a bag of tater chips. <laughs> That's his him. turn. Go get him, boys. <laughs> and ladies, I'm not sexist. <laughs> we know you're not, boss! They all say at once. <laughs> Making sure. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, they ready all to go. begin. These three will also go. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, these ones in the back all have guns. And sure. they are not close yeah. enough to fire yet. Oh, they've even moved one over. You gotta keep that symmetry. Yeah, keep that symmetry, guys. Really important for intimidation. Oh god, they're so symmetrical. I've never had to deal with this! Arnold. <laughs> and Todd and his gang. Uh, they are going to roll opposing attacks at each other, and we'll see what happens. All right, that was for the Bushidos. Oh god, Whoa. they all suck so much. Oh, Howie looks in disgust, up. seeing everyone not being able to do their goddamn jobs. <laughs> he does. Um, they sprint at each other for a few moments with, like, really dramatic backlighting, and it looks like shit's gonna go down, and the moment they contact, all lighting and aesthetics go in, they go in, 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 at each other. And this girl goes, why don't I get to fight anyone? And leaves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, we've already diminished their numbers. <laughs> uh, guys, you guys. How are they a gang? How, how is this a gang of threatening people? How did they get something of note? Why are they here? Why are these things happening? <laughs> Why can't they hit each other? Apparently the pink ones are terrorists. I don't believe that. They are terrorists in that, uh, you would all know this. They attack institutions that are like pro epithet and anti mundi and they do things that like generally are obnoxious and annoying to epithet users, sometimes on grand scale. So technically they are terrorists. Arnold pulls out a coupon out of a little book he has sitting uh, against his vest. And let's see, which one is he gonna do? All right, uh, he is gonna go ahead and use buy in bulk. And he is going to not do very much. All right, uh, he does something to the four escapees and nobody else. Uh, Goro, it's your turn. He's gonna take a step back, too. Oh, okay, I guess it's about time I, uh, do my, uh, goddamn job. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, That's right. Goro offended. four, five, and, um, uh, would you let me double move? I don't- I know this isn't exactly the same. You can double move if you want. One, two, three, four, five. Well, no, I'm, hold on, I'm gonna move the yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, I guess I start with a foundation somewhere. I'll put it to the you left sure of do. me. There you go. Percy's just gonna go ahead and move one, two, three, four, five, uh, and go ahead and spend three stamina to build a, a apothecary on top of the existing foundation. Alrighty. And another one stamina to build a foundation here. Uh, a range of five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's build this foundation here. Okay. Just so you guys know how apothecaries work, you gain one stamina back every turn you are in them. So uh, on Percy's next turn, anyone in there will restore one stamina. It's either one to everyone in the AOE or three to one person of my choice, right? Yes. All right. <clears throat> Don't have to deal with these small fry. I'm gonna double move. I'll be next to Goro. Oh, those guys are getting awfully close. Continues eating, does nothing about it. Crabs are going to move. They're Not just gonna, gonna go guys, at guess. it. Here, here. Yep, they're all going at it. So they're gonna go at it in a line. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, and opposing. That's even better! Oh, damn! Oh, God, right. Bushido grinning it. Uh, you guys, no one's defending me! <laughs> I'm kind yeah, of Yeah, guys out. in the middle, they just get wrecked every time. The escapees are like, okay, not this time, lady. And they are gonna go ahead and shoot at Meryl and guard the way here. All right, uh, Meryl, you take 10 damage. Ouch. Holy dicks. <laughs> uh, I absolutely deserve that. <laughs> Luckily, right. I'm a medical professional. 
Well, <laughs> well timed ambulance. There's the ambulance. Yeah. What is all this business here? Uh, that is a station platform. How high is it? Eh, like two feet. Okay. Doesn't make for an obstacle is all I'm really asking. Okay. Well, Meryl hopes to God that Eros, Percy, and Goro are all going for Bugsy. Or Bubsy, whatever his name is. That's Bugsley. my plan. All right. Bugsley. Excuse me, pardon me. Uh, three, four, five, six. All right. You hop down uncomfortably close to this train. <laughs> well, it's full of apples. How far One, did you go? Two, two three, four, five, six. As, as far as you'd be able to go. Here. All right. All right. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. Well, uh, guys, <laughs> there's a fat man and a very attractive man to my right. <laughs> <laughs> He just moves forward a little and continues eating. <laughs> you see his belly uh, sort of is bulging out, a la Wario. You still can, once per round, guess people's epithets for proficiency points. All right. These four see you sneaking up on Bugsley, and they're like, uh-uh. These three are going to shoot Interrupt. at Eros. Interrupt! Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, they're gonna shoot first. Two of them are gonna shoot Eros and one's gonna shoot Goro. Roll for your interrupt. It will have to be pretty high because you are attacking bullets with close range wind. I... No. I'll take one damage off. You take four, Eros is gonna take 10. Ouch. It's fine, I can take it. I'm at 32 Ooh, stamina it. now. Hmm. Ooh, Maybe okay. divide and conquer wasn't the right plan. Oh god, we didn't have a plan. Oh, we're all dead, aren't we? Don't give up. <laughs> Thanks, Howie. Right. Two of these guys are gonna go off and take smacks at Percy with their limp fists. Uh, all right, you take four damage. Eh. Okay. And here is their forward rush. Not very good. Let's see the opposing. Much, much better. Okay. Thank god. Okay, okay. Arnold's turn. Did you guys really get pushed? Yeah, God. because we're amazing. Arnold takes out another thing. <sighs> Not very good again. He attempts to give a strength buff to all the people in the front line, and like they seem a little bit beefier, but not very much. Goro. Really sorry to do this for to you, friends. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna use blast furnace again. I'm I'm, I'm actually specifically aiming to push them into Bunkley. I'm like. I, I really don't okay. want to hurt you guys, but I need to arrest your boss, and and you guys are really cool, but I got I gotta do this. I really don't do much, do I? That is successful enough that this one gets pushed back. This one also gets pushed back, and none of them take damage, but this one loses her gun, which then flies off into the crowd and hits one of them on the head. Ow! All right. Uh, well, I'll heal three stamina to myself from the apothecary. Percy is gonna go ahead and spend three stamina to upgrade this apothecary. All right, what do you want it to do? Uh, just heal more. Uh, give me a roll. You know, that's good enough. It will now do three to everyone in its borders or five to one person. Hot damn. Okay. She'll also go ahead and spend three uh, to turn the lower foundation into uh, another apothecary. Okay. Um, and uh, she will draw her sword and level it menacingly before these two who are trying to beat her up with their bare hands. Eros. All right. Didn't want to have to do this. He's getting closer. So I'm going to use, is that a gun in your pocket? Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> and I'm going to draw and shoot at the one immediately in front of me. Oh. Oh, all right. This uh, is why I don't pull it out often. Eros is always ready. Well, congrats. Here's your critical hit theme. Eros nice. slowly opens his like vest type thing, which is already nipple bearingly open <laughs> and pulls a magnum out of an uncomfortably thigh -y location <laughs> and then sort of wiggles his bumps and says a spell as he shoots this guy <laughs> straight in the face and blasts him all the way over here while he goes, I'm gay now. <laughs> <laughs>
these Meryl hears the shot heard around the world. Oh. I'm straighter now. These two are <laughs> slightly injured by the, um, the, like, crossfire. It turned into a shotgun for a second, basically. <laughs> well, I do a Sorry. little pistol twirl in the whoo. Where did James Sexy go? Sexy <laughs> To oh, gay camp. Now, sir. <laughs> well, that's fine and dandy. I don't really care about that. I'm more curious where he is. <laughs> No, you don't understand. He's gay now, sir. He's gone. <laughs> He's moved on. Well, <laughs> Bugsley looks at the woods. Well, is he coming back? I don't know, sir. I don't think any of us know. He cries. <laughs> All right. Oh, Tom, Tom, it's it's fine. James will be back. We'll, we'll, we'll go find no, him. No, he's not coming back. Oh, come on, Tom. <laughs> I'm not good at this PR bullshit. <laughs> it's oh, okay. Here's, here's a it's pretzel okay, just shoves pretzels in Tom's face. It's okay, Tom. All right. It's alright, Tom. We, we, he, he's in a better place now. The crabs are gonna try their best to push back again. That's pretty, pretty good. good. Opposing roll. Oh, damn! damn! These guys are stealing all the 20s! Alright. Uh, like they can push back ever further. I, I like right. to think that the the Bushido blasters were getting pushed, and then they heard Tom yell, "Where's James?" Like, not James, and they push harder. <laughs> but really, he's just in the woods and gay. <laughs> Aren't we all just all right. in the woods and gay? These four escapees move to this point, and these two with the guns, uh, who are you know, the girls who are on the right and left, they're going to fire into the opposing crowd. All right, that's one success. Eh, that one's not really good enough, so this guy's gone. Meryl's pretty hopeful that these guys will shoot their own teammates, as she has done many times in the past. Ideally, the movement will go one, two, three, four, five. They collectively are going to try and grab you. Uh, yeah, they're gonna stop you here. So, uh, is this, uh, obscuring my, uh, my line of fire in any way? Not enough that I'm gonna do anything about it. Well, then I am going to lethal injection Arnold. I'll give you six damage for that. So he takes six and goes, ah, jeez! Most of that just, like, shoots through his afro and leaves holes. But he's pretty frazzled, and it hits this guy over here who falls. You're potentially going to be under arrest! What? You shot me! Yeah! For all I have are coupons! <laughs> oh, by the way, is your epithet discount? No! Bugsley? What am I gonna do here? Uh, look at my abilities. Huh. Really wish I had some backup now that I think about it. You're we gonna be in control of the the open medic. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, well, this is the first thing that came to mind. So I'm gonna attempt this. Does he have a 10? He's got a nine, that's good enough. All right, uh, he goes, mm, I need some hot wheels. And he presses into his belly button. Oh, it's so bad! <laughs> <laughs> all, right. Oh. all right, so I what he wait. was going to do was generate a tank. Instead, what he is going to do is a tank's nozzle comes out of his mouth and he can't get it any further. <laughs> <laughs> and he like waddles back and forth and fires three times into his own crowd, which blasts random holes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. That guy's pathetic. I'm really glad I went after you. Oh my god, we're Tom. That guy's team killing more than I do! Tom, are you okay? I did, sir. Oh, man. Get back in formation. I'm going. <laughs> Good, well, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> oh, go. Boy. The team is like, oh man, we've been hit by the side from an unknown assailant! Warm up! <laughs> and Todd is in the back like a pussy. So these guys are going to continue their usual assault. It's pretty good. Uh, all right, they're gonna lose a guy. Looking bad. Uh, actually, that was... Yeah, they're doing really badly. Man, this is not going great. I was nope. not expecting the cops. <laughs> right, uh, and these two around Percy are gonna bat Percy. They do not. The sword is indeed too intimidating. <laughs> when a cop is confident enough to have a sword. Dude, she got a freaking sword. Uh, what can I do? Oh, I didn't know he could do that. All right. Oops. Made the campaign. He sees Meryl and is like, uh, no, thank you. And, uh, whips out a coupon and throws it at her. That's good enough. Uh, he just used limited time offer. 
and you are now significantly slowed for two rounds. He is confident in this girl, and he is going to attempt to power her up. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. Good job, Arnold. You finally succeeded at something. <laughs> that's Arnold's turn. Goro. Goro uh, pulls out a pea shooter and aims at Bugsley. Boy, oh boy, is your pea shooter not loaded. <laughs> you left your guns that were loaded on your desk. <laughs> oh, man, so this means I can't do anything this entire game. The one gun in this town that isn't loaded. Bugsley right. sees you pull a gun. Oh! Oh! Well, that's right, you never load that, is that thing. <laughs> is that a literal toy? Yes! Uh, Percy, right, not to uh, tell you how to live your life or anything, but I need help! <laughs> I can shoot peas from it. I mean, if you want to have dinner. You have several points of health to allocate. Yep. Uh, top one's going to heal me for five. Uh, I'm just going to have the bottom one heal me for three because I'm selfish. Oh, wait. One second. Can I actually make an epithet guess? Is your epithet regurgitate? No. My epithet's <laughs> way more elegant than that, he says, fingering his belly button. <laughs> <laughs> and then coughs. A spaghetti noodle comes out. He swallows it back in. Oh, that's disgusting. Great. In response to Meryl's like, I really need help here. Percy puts a hand to chin. Yes. Yes, in the current situation, you'll likely die. Thanks. I hadn't realized that possibility. <laughs> you guys are bad friends. I mean, I think we're okay, friends. All right. Uh, Percy is going to spend four stamina to build a foundation here, uh, the space to the right of Arnold, and turn it into a wizard tower. Just fuck him. I like where you Thank placed you, it. Percy. It puts Howie out of range of it. Non-allies. It doesn't have friendly fire, but even so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's this? Did I do that? All right, roll for it attacking. Uh, these, <laughs> these two guys that were in the bar before like, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, it does hit allies. <laughs> All right, a random bolt of lightning ricochets off of all this metal and blows up a part of the clock tower. Oh my god! Uh -oh. So you. Percy looks horrified. Percy. <laughs> and then also blows itself up. Sorry. Oh my god, Howie is going to. Howie, Howie turns around as like slowly as possible. I'm gonna let you get away with that one time. <laughs> he pats a giant wrench in his hand. Let's not turn this rivalry into an animosity. Turns back around. God damn it, can't even clock time of day, son of a gun, mother loving fuck. <laughs> I love this briefly guy. briefly contemplates driving the sword through her own throat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a nice display, I guess. <laughs> Arnold said, having no idea where that came from or why it went away after exploding a lightning bolt. All well, right, Meryl, Meryl, I distracted them, possibly. <laughs> That's all a girl can ask for. <laughs> I really wish I bought my pink stilettos with me on this mission. So that is indeed still a gun in my pocket. <laughs> It will be sir. aimed at Bugsley. He's got a gay but, gun! Oh no! But my, the bubbles! What if I don't like him anymore? Meeting boobs! <laughs> oh, wait a minute! I have boobs! Look down! <laughs> Alright, that'll be successful for 8 damage. The pea shooter brigade continues pea shooting. We'll see how well they do. <laughs> uh, fair versus... Alright, oh, nothing okay. happens. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, the escapees go, oh my, t shoot the blonde one! She makes those towers! I thought it was kind of pretty. No, shoot her! Alright, I guess you're the boss. Wait, no, I'm the boss! <laughs> Before he can even figure himself out. The one on the right attempts to shoot Percy. Oh! And shoots the clock tower. <laughs> 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 Oh, One no. second. You can't lay that one at my feet. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh man, is how he spurned into action? <laughs> boy, oh boy, is he. Let me roll for Howie. Oh man, that girl had the power up too. That clock tower is fucking destroyed. <laughs> 
how he cracks both of his knuckles and it is audible to everyone. <laughs> Meryl becomes even straighter. He hops off the clock tower. These two escapees, actually three of them, are going to whackety whack at Meryl. All right. <laughs> uh, no, none of them hit you. That's amazing, this considering is... my slowed pace. <laughs> they suck. This one is going to block this guy. How much movement do I have? You can still act, but you can only move two. A uh, girl on the left who still has a gun is gonna go. She fires into the crowd. That is good enough to take out one person. That's their turn. Gonna saunter up to Arnold. Uh, my gun has uh, no bullets in it. It sure doesn't. <laughs> but that's fine. Meryl is enough of a goddamn psycho to try and <laughs> grapple this guy. Oh. All right, you're just trying to grapple against him? Oh yeah, ideally so Howie can hit him in the face with a wrench at some point. He's gonna just attempt to get out of that because you're super slow. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's definitely good enough. All right, uh, these guys are gonna go. Uh, let's see if these two bottom ones can recover from the gay gun. Yeah, they're back up. They don't get to move though. Um, there was one gay oh. gun. How's their sexuality doing? <laughs> Oh, they're not sure. <laughs> uh, the one on the left, he's gonna fire off at Eros, because Eros clearly has a magnum or something. Yeah, that's good enough, five damage. All right, they're gonna take a swingy swing at you. They're they're sticking to their job. Uh, yeah, that'll be four damage. And let's just check out the general, how they do. Not good at all. Oh boy, okay. Oh, crabs return. Crabs return. Crabs are finally getting their shit together. Maybe because they want to be further away from Howie. <laughs> oh I don't God. blame him. How, why, why are we going backwards? He thinks they're doing pretty well. He wolfs down another bag of chips in his belly button and belly just like inflate. <laughs> oh, is your epithet weird fetishy porn? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Sergeant Eros perks up. <laughs> Alright, that's sure does. turn. Howie... <laughs> hops off the clock tower and walks over. <laughs> oh boy! She better die. Some fucking western showdown music's going on. Oh man. <laughs> he flips the wrench, like tosses it in his hand a few times, and then suddenly sideline swings it at her. Oh boy, <gasps> oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> That's gonna be... What That's going to be real bad. Um, <laughs> but as he does that, a some retained electrons from the wizard tower zap back off of the clock tower and shoot his wrench far into the distance and into the apples. <laughs> and do the apples avalanche? Nice. Oh yeah, they do now. <laughs> Uh, the apples pour down as that zaps him away. The revenge of toilet stares apples. this girl in the face who might have just pissed herself, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Son of a can't even believe you know what? Good thing I don't just move once per turn. <laughs> and, uh, he punches her. Uh, oh my God. All right. He just decks her and she goes flying and is just gone. Does she bash into her Arnold? <laughs> Uh, no, that was specifically for her. Oh, okay, he was just trying to launch her. All right. You, you hear James yeah. in the distance, Ew, a girl! <laughs> <laughs> did that um, top escapee right. get buried in apples? Yes, he did. <laughs> he does the Terminator thumbs up. So, uh, yeah, that girl got decimated by that punch for 10 damage. She's gone. She's very gone. All right, uh... How he's gonna move back over here, grumbling something about needing a fucking wrench. God damn it, can't even <laughs> acorn mother's soup clam, ch clam chowder. <laughs> Sometimes I get so mad I can't words. <laughs> he starts looking through the apples, and everyone he like picks up just gets crushed and splatters. <laughs> Arnold is not happy with how that just happened. <laughs> Especially because it was his only successful power-up so far. <laughs> hmm. Well, I can't run away because then I'll get demoted. <laughs> Probably. Oh, man. Luckily stands on his tippy toes like, Did someone just die over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That'll happen, say the fellas. Uh, how tall is Arnold, by the way? He's like 5'8". Alright. I'm just wondering. Okay. Um, he moves over this way. 
this is the pretty much the only gunner he has left. He is gonna use the price of one on her. Let's see how this goes. That's definitely acceptable. All right. Uh, actually, no. You know what? He's gonna use that on someone else. It'll be better. Let's use it on you, champ. Oh, come on, boss. <laughs> <laughs> so that is his turn. Man, he's he's running. Arnold looks really beat. He's running out of steam. Mostly just from using powers every turn. Percy, your turn. Well, I'll heal five from this. And my bottom one will heal one to each of Goro and Arrows. Well, that last wizard tower didn't go too well. So let's try another one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Puts it right see. next to Howie and makes it explode. <laughs> I, while Howie is distracted, she's going to build one kind of close to the clock tower. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, where do you want it? This square so that the only people in range are the two guys who are beating me up. Percy King, season two, Percy's counterattack. All right. Uh, so wizard tower, go. Thank God. This girl will just get zapperooed. And you know what? Uh, so will this one. <laughs> 16 is pretty substantial, and they only have three health each. Okay. Uh, spend stamina for that. And Percy, uh, Percy, I guess, will walk over here to be within closer distance of being able to assist Meryl. All right, uh, Goro. I have just enough movement to get right here. Um, I'm going to devour a box of donuts and um, use Baker's dozen. Have you moved yet? Uh, just did. I'm right next to Bugsley. Oh, and I don't doubt that, but we're we're clearly just having connection. I doubt that. Chula's a liar. <laughs> I'm a liar. Yeah, you moved. Oh, well, there you go. I that was weird. I just twenty. Back. Um, I was gonna do Baker's dozen and try to punch the heck oh, out shit. of. Oh uh, shit. Yeah, punch the heck out of Bugsley. Do I have to do roll a d20 or do I just go straight to the 13 d4? You roll a d20 to see how if you do it at all. Yep, that's successful. Roll uh, 13 d4s. Here uh, we go. All right. Goro opens a box of Howdy Morning brand something donuts and pours them all down Ooh, his gullet. That's a good one. Oh, that's, fours. that's, wow, that's great. All right. Um, that's, that's a 12 So hit. all of those succeed except for one of them. And that's so many fours, I'm gonna give you the full 13. Oh, those look like good donuts. And you just wolf down all of them. Oh, I'm not even gonna <laughs> share, huh? They go, oh, no, 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 I just beat the shit out of him. Um, what, what, oh what? <laughs> All right, so for bare oh basics, God. what's the general range on it? You need to be touching them. I need to be touching them? All right. Oh, no, it says JoJo pose. Uh, so be within four spaces. All right. Oh, uh, please don't make Bugsley naked. That's not going to be mean, good for- What do you mean, please don't make Bugsley naked? That's not going to benefit anybody. <laughs> I have a plan for this. Uh, if he drops okay. everything he has, he drops his copious amount of food sustaining his life. Yeah, but then we have to see his jiggling man boobs. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, the man with the gay guns here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, where is he? I can't see him over these bruises. <laughs> uh, listen, I already got enough pounding for one day. I don't need him here too. All right, Eros, do what you do it. Give me a JoJo pose. A JoJo pose. That's pretty good. Uh, Bugsley's apron goes flying off. His and so does his shirt and everything but his underwear. <laughs> oh jeez. What? <laughs> oh, no. I'm sure that gives uh, Team Crab a morale boost. <laughs> like what you see? <laughs> Some of the Bushido Blasters turn around and go, NOT AGAIN! NOT AGAIN! <laughs> from the disgusting folds oh, no. of fat, shoot out all, like, not like from inside of him, but like from his folds. Shoot out a bunch of greasy bags of potato chips he's been munching on. No, hey, wait! Can, can, can Goro, can Goro, uh, roll to try to catch one of them? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, you grab one. Nice. No, I have a key. That, that'll be an any, that'll be an anytime heal for five. This one's Todd, right? <laughs> Here, there's right. Todd. Uh, does this guy, is he holding, like, a gun or some sort of weapon? Yes, he has a gun. 
Time to confiscate that. You're gonna try and grab that from him? Go for it. That's a dangerous bag. You take it from him. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Why do, you guys keep, <laughs> why do you guys keep stealing stuff from us? How are they beating us by making us gay? <laughs> the escapees. This one is going to, on instruction, run into the crowd and attempt to get the shit beaten out of him. The rest of them are going to, uh, you know what, he'll do that first. Let's see how well he gets beaten the crap out of him. Oh, oh. he, oh man, he gets in there and you know what, Mosh Ashley? Pit. Mosh pit, Hey, look at this guy, thinks he's so fucking tough, get him! He runs in there in slow motion. Oh no. Knowing his time has come. Oh, no. And oh, as he is just torn apart, he comes <laughs> through the other end at Bugsley's nude feet and goes, I have done it. <laughs> and he falls onto Bugsley's tummy <laughs> and is launched away into the distance. And by using a price of one, uh, Arnold sort of blessed him in a way that uh, if he is affected, everyone else on their team gets plus three to attack and damage for a whole round. So using that buff, which they probably should have just used on that 20 in general, uh, they're going to push forward. That's pretty good. Uh, well, it's better. So I'm gonna kill off three of these dudes just for that guy's sacrifice. And everyone is going to move down a little bit. Why did that guy song. rub my tummy? Bugsley looks at arrows. Did you shoot that guy too? <laughs> oh my God. Not that I remember. He got really handsy. Um, Goro's gonna eat those barbecue potato chips right in front of Bugsley's face. <laughs> okay, go for it. Because <laughs> they're any time, so I can do it. I don't like this right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, these three escapees are gonna continue punching Mara. Or not, your name is not Mara. Or is it twist ending? Meryl was Mara <laughs> Solomon the entire time. Oh, that's pretty good. Take six damage. Ouch. Uh, this escapee will join this crowd. Uh, and this one with the gun is going to... She'll just fire into the crowd. She's doing well that way. That is exactly good enough to kill one of them. All right, Meryl. I'm going to reload my gun. Okay. They're gonna attempt to have that not happen. Uh, no, they knock the bullets down out of your hands while you very slowly and obviously Slap. raise them. Can I... Well, that would be my action. Can I use my move to do something that's probably not going to work? Sure. Alright, I'm going to throw the mug of beetles onto the escapee in front of me. <laughs> Alright. You've just been holding that. The beetles are not slowed, and they crawl right onto this escapee. <laughs> he just like has a stoic Demetrius face. This might as well happen. Ha! Now you have uh, be beetles on you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, he looks like he is not having a good time. It is the uh, general tottery turn. This girl is going to go here. None of these guys really have their guns anymore. Todd is going to back up and help his person. They're going to surround you. Is and one of them behind uh, me. One of them <laughs> is behind you. And it's this guy who is too distracted by your bum to do anything. <laughs> Just uh, had to ask to use my passive effectively. <laughs> no, yeah, thank you. I will forget if you guys don't remind me of stuff. He looks at your bum and goes, I wonder what James is doing later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, these guys are going to collectively attack you. This is three attacking each of you. I'm just gonna roll once for them. Uh, that's, yeah, that's successful. Each of you takes six. Ouch. All right. And then they're going to attempt to push again. No, they Ooh. absolutely don't go anywhere and they're gonna lose even more. The Bushido Blasters are starting to look a little rough. They, they lose morale because uh, they keep looking back at Bugsley who's just got like, his <laughs> ass hanging out. <laughs> The Bliss Ocean guys are actually still buffed in certain ways. It doesn't show very well, though. All right. Bugsley, not having a good time, is going to attempt to kind of get the hell out of there because he's looking pretty sweaty, and you can definitely see a lot of him is pretty sweaty, unfortunately <laughs> for you. He is going to attempt to use I'm Outy here, and he is going to tuck himself into a ball and roll away at high speeds. That's good enough. He is going to go in here, one, two, three. 
He's going to knock out these two dudes and come to a stop here. Hey, this Arnold. is Epithet Belly. Close. Oh, hey, uh, that's Bugsy's. Hey, man. Someone shot my hair. Someone took my clothes. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are really. I was hoping that I was just imagining that. <laughs> I told you they were best friends. Don't worry, I still got my undies and my secret stash. Howie walks out of the apples. <laughs> he walks out of the apples with his wrench and just smacks this person out of the way. That's good enough. Smack. <laughs> um, it's not an attack, so I actually didn't need to roll for it. Uh, and he just keeps walking. Arnold gets to go. <laughs> Arnold is on his last legs, pretty much. All I had to do was prevent you from getting that necklace to the train and also take it. But it's better to do one thing than zero things. So he is going to use underhanded deal and attempt to trip Bugsley. Nope. Uh, a, a paper hand made of coupons appears and does pretty much nothing because it touches Bugsley and melts in his sweat. <laughs> Great. Arnold's gonna wander over this way, uh, cause he is going to try and get to this knocked out guy who is their drop off. And that's his turn. Well, first he's gonna heal five off of this apothecary. Okay. I'm glad you're getting good use out of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lamp said, not at all bitterly. Um, nah, I haven't been anywhere near him. <laughs> If I upgrade the wizard tower, can I expand its range? You can, but honestly, it'll only give you like one to three more, which will pretty much only hit these guys. It would cost the same to just build another one. Well, in that case, I'll just go ahead and spend my four stamina, build the foundation and convert it to a wizard tower and put that wizard tower, put it here. Well, in that case, uh, just imagine there is one. It's like I'm gonna, here. I'm gonna put this foundation. Yeah, that works. One square to the left of that. Oh, damn it! I will and should I go ahead best. and roll for its attack through this round? Yep. Yes, you can. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, something, something. Arnold, back to the so future. Is reference. Arnold's secret passive immune to wizard tower? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, oh boy, is it not. All right, you sure hit Meryl for eight. Oh no. Ouch. Somehow I always knew it would come to this. Surrounded by goons getting hit by lightning and not able to hit the guy with the coupons. All right. Where the hell did Howie go? Good oh, there turn there, me. <laughs> Howie like looks at you like, oh, what the shit? <laughs> Percy, what are you doing? I'm, I'm having an off day. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. Get back on. <laughs> Do your goddamn job. <laughs> Bugsley, is your uh, epithet stomach? No. Um, I'm gonna use an anytime my my um my sweetheart donuts to give myself five more stamina. Okay. And then I am going to go ahead and use deflating the purpose and attempt okay. to um, get so myself chaos. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, here we go. All right, all right so def I want to read this description. Deflating the purpose, let out all your air and zip around like a deflating balloon to nearly anywhere on the map. Where are you attempting to go? Um, best case scenario, I end up like in front of Arnold. Um, okay, in front of being here, above or below him? Yeah, like here. Because I want to stop him from getting away as well. That's pretty good. Uh, you begin deflating like a crazy balloon man, <laughs> and you knock out all three of these dudes in front of you on your way to go. <laughs> <laughs> and you look fucking ridiculous. Uh, you're also going to knock this guy out as you swing this way for <laughs> appearing back over here. All right, nice, and that's my turn. I haven't been surrounded by this many men and women since last Saturday. I also seem to be pretty abandoned by my, by my one teammate who was near here. Uh, I'll allow you to Sorry. swing your pole in a circle if you want. Will you? Because that was one of the abilities I like passed up, so I wasn't... Yeah, but whatever. <laughs> it won't be... 
You'll have to roll a little higher than you would have. This is Jello campaign. We don't give a shit. First off, I'm gonna rip off my tearaway shorts. <laughs> All right. You're very That's a free nice action. Guy. And then I'm gonna swing my pole around. Wink. No one seems. To, <laughs> no one seems to understand why the southern end of this battle is getting more and more naked. <laughs> you end up hitting these two, but not the top left two. Just so Isn't you're aware. Around, so your bum is facing one of them. Yeah, and I'm gonna move back into the range of this. <laughs> For my okay. own sake. Meryl, you are now regular time. Awesome. No Unfortunately, adventure. I do not have a gun that is loaded. You can load it and meet, like you can try to load it. You won't be able to use it, but I'll still give you some form of action that isn't a gun. No, oh, no, no, I, I'm more creative than that, Jello. All right. So what way is Arnold facing right now? He is facing towards Goro. All right, you can go one, two, Three, and I'm gonna kick him in the balls. Alright, roll for kick in balls. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Please. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? That is enough to knock him out. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing so average! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, finally! I did my job! Meryl holds her empty gun in the air. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> What's Howie wrong with you people? <laughs> Howie looks over his shoulder and gives you a thumbs up. We're we're doing our goddamn job. <laughs> kicking our right, pants and turn. kicking people. Alright, these guys are like pretty inspired by the fact the enemy commander is down, and they are going to try a general rush. Uh I'm, I'm also leading. No. Guys. They're not great. They form up to the best of their abilities. Uh, and these three are going. And Todd's gonna go over here and take a whack at Eros. Hey, listen here, you fucking guy taking pants. <laughs> Alright, three damage. Oh, I really thought that would do more. <laughs> nope, sorry. This guy's a gun, right? Nope. The only active it. gunner left on the field is this chick. Oh, good luck, Todd. Uh, Bugsley, he is going to consume all six of his stockpile. And I thought he took out of all of his stockpile. Uh, his stockpile is what he's been eating beforehand. He's had oh, some for a while. I see, I see. I don't, th I don't think you guys can see his bar. It's just for us. He is going to stand here and aim in this direction. His plan is going to be, he is going to summon a Roadhog hook. <laughs> hook this guy over here and slide himself through all these people and domino them. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh, wow. That is absolutely good enough with a six stockpile. So uh this girl, this guy, this guy, this guy, and these three are all knocked down and out of the way. Oh my this god, guy. why did I do that earlier? Hey man. How's it going? Just ignore my almost nude. This guy passes out from almost <laughs> nude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Howie's turn. He goes back to working on the clock tower. Percy! Okay, uh, Percy's gonna heal five and heal Eros for three. I gotta, you know, man, I gotta, I gotta break the curse. I'm trying to build a wizard tower. <laughs> no! Okay, there are now ones in all the places they should be. This is for the one that's below Meryl. Uh, that will not fire. Okay, this is for the one that's closer to me. I'll have it kill two of these knocked down dudes. Percy's oh, gonna stay here, uh... so she can heal. Done. Eris. He's going to jab his pole into Todd's gut. He has a name, he has to go. All right, yep, uh, Todd is gone. I will move Todd into here so we don't have to make, make a new one. Uh, Todd is gone, quote unquote. <laughs> oh no. Todd used Todd. his chaos god powers to throw someone else under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Morale is down. <laughs> the crabs get to do one more thing. They are going to uh, attack prevent... Bugsley. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> nope. None of them hit. He's so sweaty. Uh, I can't get a grip on him. These three are losing morale and are thinking about running into the woods. <laughs> the gay woods. Oh no. <laughs> now it's Meryl's turn. What about what about these guys over here? Are they gonna do anything? Oh, this one's covered in bugs. So you know what? <laughs> He's just gonna go. I am done for today. And he outstretches his arms and falls backwards into the apples. <laughs> and this one will just join him. So now it's Meryl's turn. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. I'm within range of that apothecary now, right? Yes, you are now right. within range of that apothecary. Okay, cool. Just wondering, so maybe I can get healed by it this combat. <laughs> All right. Percy heals herself. Well, with my newly loaded gun, I'm going to use uh, lethal injection uh, in the direction of the boss. Hopefully I'll hit him, but there's a guy in the way. Yeah, this one is gone. Uh, Bugsley's gonna take eight damage. Having a bad time. Um, he is going to... <laughs> Hello, men? Y yes, naked sir. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this to you. <laughs> he rolls away. <laughs> Crushing this person. <laughs> oh yeah. These guys look like they're not really in the mood to fight anymore. <laughs> The so moment their like, boss leaves. It's like of lightning towers between them and us. This guy that got ran over is just like laying in the sand covered in sweat, eyes wide. I will give you one, each of you, one turn to do something before these guys can scatter. Um, Goro is going to sit on top of Arnold so he can't leave. Arnold is super passed out. <laughs> then it doesn't matter. He doesn't really have enough time to do any... Well, he's going to sit on top of Arnold anyway. <laughs> Crush his ribs. I'm a good sheriff. Do we have to go by normal turn conventions for what we feel like doing? You get one thing you can each do. Well, I think Percy's just going to move over here and check whether Eros is okay. I mean, you all Eros immediately get your more naked back. than you thought <laughs> was before. Howie looks down and sees that... Most, like, maybe maybe four or five more people than should probably be naked or naked. <laughs> <laughs> and walks over here, and he's sort of like, Eep! He's like, how about you pick up all those apples and put them right back? <laughs> <laughs> all right, why are these apples bigger now? That's just what happens when you fucking suck. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to get started back on the clock again. I can go get you that honey if you want it. Yeah, you know what? That would sound real good. He So, you can see he's been singed by lightning. <laughs> he doesn't look hurt. <laughs> he just looks burned a little uh, bit. Um, Sheriff, uh, why don't you let me get the honey? I think uh, it would perhaps yeah, be a nice gesture under the circumstances. Sorry. It's in my office, and it's, it's, it's in the drawer underneath the uh, pile of donuts. I'm Getting sure I'll honey. be able to find it. Bottled honey and honey donuts are good. If you can find some fresh honey from like a beehive, that'd be great. But honey would be good right now. His teeth are super <laughs> clenched. <laughs> How we doing on them apples, boys? <laughs> How we? How we what? doing? How are we doing on them apples? One of them can't stop crying as he's putting apples back. <laughs> That's well, right. No one will know the secret ingredient of toilet apples is the tears. <laughs> <laughs> I think Howie is my favorite so far. Okay. Excellent work, team. We beat uh, a, a, a lot of them. We beat a lot of them. I don't really feel good about hurting my friends. That's fantastic. What should we do with this guy? I well, guess we could temporarily lock him up with, uh, Mr. Ruru, but, But uh, he just opens the door. Yeah, that's right. Well, well, Ruru would probably go back in there, because he's a really nice guy. We're friends. But I don't think this guy would. Is there, like, a box we could throw him in? Well, I do oh, have it's... these. He takes out a pair of leopard print handcuffs. Ooh. The specialty. I like it. Will we I could also give him two yep, 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 I just replied. We could give him to He is definitely a high-class criminal, and I will be... Goro, could you please stop sitting on him for a moment? Oh! Oh, uh, yeah, yes, sir. Oh, right, I know, I'm we gonna... can lock him in the outhouse. Oh, yeah, that, 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 that's a good idea. I was gonna say, I'll forgive him to Howdy anyway, so that works. Alright, I handcuff him, and then... I guess the plan is lock him in the outhouse, so I throw him over my shoulder. Awesome! Great, we have captured... one criminal. Yeah! Yep, yep, we did, we, we did, we did, And the rest day. are walking... Oh, that, they're that's walking. criminals that I've caught in the past five months. Well, boy, oh boy, I think did one... none of you notice, has about 
30 criminals walked into the woods <laughs> nonchalantly. Well, well uh, one high-priority criminal makes up for those ones. The journey of 10,000 miles starts with one criminal being apprehended while the rest get away. All right, go ahead and uh, pick either five stamina or two proficiency. Let me go ahead and add that. Feel free to throw your stamina back up to full. Oh. Hooray! Goro, you now have... You should have 37 then. Yeah, that's what I just Yeah, did. okay. All right, let me look at Meryl. Yeah, you do indeed get a buff plus one damage to one of your offensive moves. Uh, let's do bonus damage on spreading disease. Eros, you get two more. Percy, you get saber polish plus one damage to your saber. Okay. Ah, that saber you have used time and time again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my healing abilities that I have used. <laughs> so, uh, what, what about all of my uh, my friends here that are knocked out? Should we go uh, take them somewhere where they can feel better? Oh, they all got up and left. That was the implication. I mean, there's still those four dudes up there. <laughs> I meant I meant the unconscious ones, the unconscious ones. You, you can know. take it. I mean, there want. were a bunch of people that got knocked out during the battle. I assume they got up and left. They got up and left. <laughs> all right. They were I... all faking it. Because <laughs> they're all a bunch of goddamn slackers. Percy's going to give Howie the honey. All right, sure. Thank you. Um, you hand him a, is this a donut or actually like a little honey dispenser? Goro. I don't know. Oh, it's an actual, like, um, honey bottle with a built-in nozzle so you could insert it in one of those full donuts and make it filling. No, this does make me feel a lot better. He <laughs> drinks about half of it disgustingly. <laughs> <sighs> I like honey. All right, no. All right, yeah, you know what? Uh, go ahead and... That was... That was a shit show. <laughs> so... Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> to help you guys out in the future, he gives you each a pin, and you uh, each get plus one stamina. Whoa! That'll make you a little harder to knock out. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Howie. Yeah, no problem. Please Just, never uh, change. You are the most competent uh, person I've ever met. I absolutely refuse to change ever. Well, except... I am taking interper uh, interpersonal communications classes, but other than that, I pretty much refuse to change. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Percy's yeah. studying his, like, hyper-frenetic, zipping-around-building technique. I see. So the honey is the key. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> he Eros does just have has a fairly... Arnold over his shoulder, just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, you can you can have Arnold over your shoulder. I will. Yeah, he's hand uh, you... with the leopard print. Yeah, we'll just assume yeah. he is. I'm not gonna play the icon moving game. Yep. Uh, yeah. You do notice Percy while you're studying Howie. He does have a crudely drawn B on the side of his helmet. <laughs> Pretty much everyone with him seems to, and it looks like he drew all of them. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, hang on. You're gonna just. You're gonna leave this one here? <laughs> He's tied up with a rope. This one. You can oh. take this one for now, and feel free to come back and arrest these two, but uh, right now they're busy. Mm, yep, yep, apples! <laughs> can you make sure they don't go anywhere? Oh, I'll make sure. <laughs> okay, um, so Goro actually picks up the, uh, Steven was his name. She, Goro picks up Steven and throws him over his shoulder. All right, roll for picking up Steven. Probably you not are Goro. This is true. These two picking up the apples are like, didn't that orange-haired girl shoot these? <laughs> wasn't this wasn't this her fault? No, it wasn't. It was Howie's fault, I think. It was. <laughs> yeah, it was Howie's fault. His wrench went. Listen. Well, actually, it was Percy's fault. <laughs> Listen, a lot of things happened in a lot of ways they shouldn't have happened. But we all fucking tried, and you two better fucking try to pick up those apples, or else I'm gonna make applesauce with ya. Yes, sir. Do you mean like as a communal activity? No, I'm gonna pound your faces <laughs> in. Oh! Bye-bye, right, Howie. Bye. Meryl bye. waves. I'll leave him to right. then. Yeah, see ya. He starts pouring the honey in parts of the clock tower as an adhesive. It weirdly oh, works. Yeah. All right. 
Okay, real quick, I'm gonna pause the video to talk about this combat from a mechanical standpoint and what I would change about it if I were running it now. So if you're a TTRPG fan, or you maybe wanna run a game like this, this might be interesting to you. And if you don't care, then uh, here, I'll put a timestamp up on screen. Go to this, or and it'll be in the description too. Just click it, you can ignore this. But like for people who care, here we go. Um, so conceptually, I think what I wanted to do was basically, it, it's a pretty big, it, it's a pretty basic combat idea and it's not a bad one even. Just too many bosses, each controlling a mob of enemies who should have a low amount of health and the idea is they're fighting each other and knocking each other's numbers down and you can just throw a bunch of stuff in there and whittle them down too. That's great, really good idea. I don't understand why I ran it the way I did where the bonsai blasters keep rolling 20s and they keep beating the bliss ocean crabs and I'm not eliminating any of them. I'm just pushing them back and forth like that matters at all. And because of that, this combat goes on so long and nothing matters and nothing happens. And all of these minions have way too much health and they deal way too much damage and I don't understand. So uh, here's some more interesting propositions from a game design perspective of how I would design this fight now. Uh, a, in the universe where I can't change anything, you can literally make this fun by just making the numbers different. So if I don't change anything and it's still just big fight in the middle of the field, too many bosses, and there's a tug of war game between the, the, the guys. So first of all, the Bushido Blaster, Bonsai Blaster guys, there's more of them. They should each have one health. If Percy sets up a lightning tower and it strikes their group, it should kill eight of them, or seven, however much damage her thing does. I, I'm doing this at two in the morning, I don't remember. They should be a huge collective of health and you should be able to whittle them down. And then the crabs, which are supposed to be stronger, even in universe, each have two health. So her that same tower would only destroy like four of them. And maybe Percy could build her stuff in different ways to have cool AOE abilities or something like that. But instead of thinking of them as a huge mass of individual people with three health each, which is insane. I can't believe I did that. The Bonsai Blaster should have one, the Crab should have two, and they should fight. And at the top of every turn, they should roll opposing checks. And there should be some number, like, let's say one of them gets a six and the other one gets a 15. And it's like, okay, for every three above one of those group rolls compared to their enemy, they take down that many guys from the other side. So if one of them rolls a six and one of them rolls a 15, uh, that's two threes versus five. So uh, the side that rolls less in that encounter, they, they lose three guys. And that just happens every turn. So they should be depleting guys. I have no idea why they're just pushing each other back and forth. It's not an obstacle. The, the party's not trying to get to them. I mean, it would, have been, it would have been smarter for the party to sit still and not engage in the combat at all. How unfun is that? Um, two other ideas I had for this combat, if I wanted to get cool with it and actually use the environment. A, if I wanted to use the tug of war thing, I should have set them like maybe on top of a bunch of logs or a rickety bridge in the middle of the river, or maybe like one of those covered bridges that you see in New England spanning a river, and they're pushing each other back and forth across the bridge. But there's a bunch of holes in the bridge, and every time one of them falls in, like, oh no, they fall, and it's it's dangerous because each turn, one side might get pushed randomly, and that could push a party member in and maybe the party members are destroying the bridge, or maybe they, uh, it, it probably would have been smarter to have the party members have a reason to ally with one side or the other. It was very dumb in general to make this campaign like, oh, here's two types of enemies. They're bad guys. I'm not gonna tell you anything about either of them, but you hate them. Like, it's just an awful setup for improv. Um, I, I should have made them like, maybe not allied with the Bliss Ocean Crabs, but like maybe they thought the Bliss Ocean Crabs were citizens or something and they were fighting them. Like you get what I'm going for here. But the idea of using the pushing mechanic as part of the battle, that could be really interesting. Also putting the battle on a bridge over a river is like inherently a much more interesting setting. Or, uh, and this is what I think I would pick. I wanted to make Howie appear here. And I wanted Howie to be like, oh, he's a big scary guy. Because my initial plan for Howie, which we didn't do, was I wanted him to be the super boss of the whole campaign that once it was done, people could try fighting him. And Howie's a big, strong guy. And I think it would have been fun to have the Bliss Ocean Crabs and the Bonsai Blasters fighting over the necklace that has been like put in the clock tower or something. And the clock tower is in the middle of the map. It's not off to the side. So, they both want to get to the clock tower, but they have to destroy the construction work Howie is doing. 
and they are all over it. They're they're like all over the place. So the like the hazard of this battle is not oh how do you destroy all of them? It's you need to make Howie fight them for you. So like either point out that they're destroying his clock tower or maybe destroy parts of it yourself and then be like, wow, did you see what they did? So that he attacks them. Like, make Howie an invincible stage hazard. That's a really good way to introduce Howie and make him scary and powerful and be like, whoa, we beat up like 50 guys. But it also, like, makes it a fun setting and it's not just an open field with a hundred guys. Um, also, it's insane how much damage they do. The first time they shot Meryl and she took 10 damage, I literally screamed listening back to this. I was like, what are you talking about? Because holy shit, man. The, what I should have done is, hey, if they group around you, each of them deals one damage. So if there's like four guys attacking you at once, that's four damage. That's easy. And it's also low enough numbers that they can deal with it if they get separated, which like, I'll go on record, I think the way Lamp plays this battle is psychotic and insane, especially since she was supposed to be the medic. But like, she did that. And in the event one of the party members did that, like, I, I can't believe Lamp survived, frankly, considering how much damage she was taking. But um, I wanted each of these guys to deal one damage. And then they had like elite units, quote unquote, who had guns and the gun guys did two damage each. And the gun guys were supposed to be firing into the opposite crowd and like deleting enemies, but instead they just start shooting the party and they're dealing five damage a guy? I don't know what I was thinking there. They should have been dealing two damage a guy. Five is insane. Like, I was lucky that Eros had so much stamina. Like 50 something for a first campaign character is or 40 something, that's bonkers. But like, ugh. It's, it's such a bad fight. I'm so embarrassed by it. Um, it's funny because the fight after this, if you want to call it that, the one before the final boss in this campaign, is the one everyone made fun of. And it's definitely the least necessary, but from a mechanical and time spent perspective, it's so much better than this one. I hate this train fight. Okay, I'm done talking now, bye. How the hell am Sorry. I supposed to write the three, four, and five? You won't get off the fucking numbers. <laughs> <laughs> They're still yelling about the hopscotch. I knew, I knew it. I knew this would be a problem. It wasn't a problem for us, but it was a problem. Okay, right. so, uh, we should probably uh go into my office for a little bit and uh, question question these guys. We got uh we have we have Arnold there, and then we've got Steven, and I want to make sure Steven's okay. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. No, but but she, look, no, look. Let, let's just throw them in the outhouse for now. They'll go through due processing later. Right now, we need to track a a fat Hot Wheel wherever <laughs> he went. Is there like a greasy skid mark in the dirt somewhere? You feel like there might have been if he was wearing clothes, but despite <laughs> that, he was actually very aerodynamic. You guys are throwing these two in the cell. Right. Well, we were gonna- I was gonna question them, but we were gonna throw them in the, uh, outhouse, actually, because- Well, oh, well, outhouse? I thought that- Well, it looks like he's gone, so- yeah, it looks like escapee is gone, which was the main reason <laughs> Eros was not keen on putting them in there. Whoa, 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 Deputy Chewit! Yeah, Dep hey, what's up? You're really good at watching things, right? I sure am. I've been watching them 35 people dive into a well all day. <laughs> oh, that is... Wait, wait, were, were they these Bushido guys? Most of them were, but... Uh, oh, I think yes! Almost... We've got more criminals! <laughs> almost all of them were the entirety of the town, though, and all of its, like, 12 residents. Yeah, see, uh... That Canadian dollar is about 85% of our town's economy right now. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah. hey, Deputy Chewit, so you're really good at watching things. Did you did you happen to see where uh, Mr. Ruru fell out, ran off to? He uh, usually doesn't leave the office, at least. Oh, do Ruru. Well, he walked right out of here and <laughs> walked past me. And I assume that, as once you are out of prison, you've served your time, he was free. Oh, I could I not be less him. surprised to hear you say this. Well, I, I he guess... went off at that direction. I guess he hasn't done anything in a really long time, huh? Maybe it was his time to go, huh? Well, 
uh, we should probably at least go find him, and maybe he had some really important reason to, uh... Hey, Eros, Percy, refresh my memory here. Uh, were we here to stop, uh, to stop Escapes McGee? No. Didn't think so. specifically. I don't mean to interrupt, but you've forgotten his name was Doodaroo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Pretty... Thanks, <laughs> I do my job. Did you see where a fat bowling ball went, by the way? Nah, I was too busy watching that well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that means that he probably didn't go that way, so he probably went this way. I was under the understanding that that was the job of the person sitting in that chair. Perhaps your town's economy would be more robust if you more reasonably divided up the labor. Ah, uh, that's a pretty good idea. I should talk about that to the well watcher. <laughs> Duplication of effort is an efficiency killer. I'm making sure this door is 100% closed. I do not trust this jail. Alright, well, I will no, close that. This is Mr. Ruru. He's really good at escaping things. Otherwise, our cell's our pretty sturdy. Eros just takes a long look around the town. Sturdy is not the first word I would use. <laughs> you then I mean, notice that the well watcher's chair snaps and he's laying on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks like I need a new seat. Mm, the okay. only thing here that's vaguely butt-shaped oh, is no. this well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My, my God! Well, it looks like there's an open position for a well watcher. <laughs> oh man, I, that, that's fine. I'll just well watch the well watch and wish you well. What kind of place is this? No one thinks that's weird! <laughs> that's... Just an ancient custom here in Redwood Run. I don't that believe place, you! That well used to go real far down before we made it the town graveyard. <laughs> okay, let's go That's somewhere else! A little joke. Uh, this guy tries to set up the chair again, the other leg snaps, and he's just like stuck staring at the sky. I guess I've been promoted to Sky Watcher. And he just lays there looking up. Oh, I guess he's it means. moving I'm... on up in the world. Like, none of this is weird to you guys! No, well, it's weird. I'm booking. just not saying none. Oh, thank it's God. Not worth the breath. I guess the position of well watcher's open again. Hey, <laughs> hey, deputy, do it. Would you like to do it? Oh man, you know I would. I'll just go over here and stare at this well for six months. <laughs> he does. You do it. <laughs> Goro wipes a tear away from his eyes. So proud of his deputy. He's a well watcher now. This I mean, Bushido blaster in front of the line for oranges is like, Jesus! This is taking forever! <laughs> Sorry, I'm too busy watching the well watcher over there. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Oh, uh, I should probably uh, go talk to, uh, see what the fruit stand man has today. And, and Koro just kind of like, he actually gets in line. <laughs> so he's a nice person. <laughs> like I said, waste of breath to say anything. <sighs> it's not like they'll listen to us. Here we sell piles. I've got an orange pile right here, and I've got a green pile in the back. Which oranges! Kind of pile? I'm here! No oranges! Do you want an orange pile? <laughs> no! This! He picks up a couple of oranges. These! I don't understand the- A handful of oranges! Maybe if you put them in a sway, you could describe them as a pile. Ah! He just walks away. <laughs> Another satisfied customer. <laughs> I just... Next. Excuse me, is this, is this, this is the well, isn't it? This is the well. He jumps in. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. We'll just, we'll just call headquarters. We'll tell them that all of the Bushido blasters jump down a well. They won't believe us. They'll come down here and then all the Bushido blasters will have escaped because they'll have plugged up the well. <laughs> I'm heavily considering moving Arnold to the I'm starting to worry. I may not get my Canadian dollar back. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. You know, I'm beginning to think that uh, that wish was not worth it. What even was the wish? Uh, that nobody would get murdered. <laughs> well, um, you rolled so... an eight. What a time to watch a will. <laughs> oh man! Well, isn't it almost time for the uh, 
the annual uh, well cleaning. It's time to catch the criminal. <laughs> There's a criminal in town. <laughs> <laughs> Just well, I mean, there's Mr. Rururu. You know about Mr. Rururu. He's always here. Do my goddamn job. <laughs> yes, I agree. Let's do our goddamn job. Percy, would you like to do our goddamn job with us? Uh, I would. <laughs> I can't let Howie down. I can't let him see my weakness or my shame. Oh, I, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to buy a pile later. Uh, thank you anyway. Since we're all here now, uh, I actually don't know you guys. Can, <laughs> how about we introduce ourselves? No. You you walk into the woods. But we're friends, right? I'd say we're professional partners. Our relationship is strictly business-like. I was really expecting there to be a fat tub of lard somewhere around here somewhere. Well, well this, this is a pretty big uh, map. Roll a perception check, all of you. Koru knows this town like the back of his hand. Percy, you walk over here, and uh, Goro, you walk over here, and each of you finds a uh, just a bullet suspended in midair. Whoa, that, that's uh, that's something. None of you have any idea what this is. Percy um, will Goro very cautiously give it a little poke with her sword to see if it moves. Uh, Goro just pokes it, it with his hand. It moves and like just gets stuck in a different way. It looks like a, you know how, okay, so when like uh, Dio does the world, how he just like moves shit and it like reassumes a different stopped position, that's what it does. I see, I see. That's hmm. something. I'm guessing there were some um, guns fired here. And more <laughs> and more, oh. <laughs> Yeah, you could assume that, but you we could also We can't leap to assume... conclusions. Someone could have put a bullet here just to mislead us into thinking that. Mm. You, to, like, take you, you might be right on that, actually. Huh. I mean, it's There's not every day you find a bullet stopped in time. Well, I mean, this is a very special day. I mean, we have uh, three special officers here today. We usually only have us, uh, just me and two it. All day. I could have sworn he would have gone this way, though. <laughs> you just see woods and mountains in the distance. You're kind of like near the top of a, not near the top, but you're like 70% of a way up a mountain and it just sort of slopes down. Oh, well, there's nothing but a weird bullets this way. So maybe we should go back and find Mr. Rururu. Uh, he probably knows what he's doing. He's a little bit more competent than I am sometimes. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Yeah. Percy's gonna and, uh, take the suspended bullet. You take the bullet. Goro, are you leaving yours? Um, Goro's gonna take his as well. So let me put that in my inventory. Okay. I still have that mug of beetles. Right. They're standard revolver bullets. You could like use them. Nice. <clears throat> so I mean, God damn it. Oh. It's gonna. Hey. <laughs> hey. What are you doing around these parts? Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, man. Oh oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Oh, he oh, continues oh, saying "oh shit" and sees if you do nothing while he walks away. Oh shit! <laughs> Larry, Larry, What's the alarm? We're just—if you're just a normal citizen, you should have none to be afraid of. I, I sure, I sure am that. I sure am a normal citizen who's into cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, Larry, I know it's you. It's me, Goro. Come on, come on. No, no, sh shut up, man. These are cops. <laughs> These are like good cops. Oh. <laughs> These are the cops that do their goddamn job. But they're my friends too, right? Well, I suppose we are bullet buddies now. <laughs> and the Goro Said Goro Percy with complete sincerity. <laughs> uh, pulls uh, Percy into like this big like squish hug. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Mm. Hey, no time. Goro, if you could if you could release me very very briefly. Oh oh, oh sorry sorry. He lets go. <laughs> Why are so, you so eager yeah, to leave, so, guy? Yeah, what are you doing uh, this part of town? I, I had a train to catch, and now I, I fucked up, and I missed it, so I'm walking home. <laughs> Please let me go. Yeah, Larry's a good guy. I just guy. do this on the side. <laughs> Larry's a good guy. I think we can let him go. I'm just looking uh, for my partner, Bob. Oh, where's Bob? <laughs> He's nowhere. <laughs> Oh, but, but Bob's a pretty cool guy too. I mean, I mean, we were gonna we were gonna have steak barbecue the other day. Oh, shit, 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 shit. 
Do you do anything but plan food events with people? I'm not judging, I'm just wondering. Well, I mean, I, I mean, sometimes people jump in the well. <laughs> Like I, said, I think it's a bit more than sometimes. We do have the uh, the the annual well cleanup every year, every year. <laughs> Larry, I think we can come to an understanding, but we need something from you in return. Oh, yeah. Do you know the current whereabouts of your large man? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Uh, Captain Pugsley sort of ran off. I mean, he's still got that necklace. Oh, sh no, he doesn't. <laughs> Man from the bushes. Dude, shut up. Dude, don't tell him about the necklace. Dude, you shut up. You shut up. <laughs> Percy leans over to Meryl. I think this man may not be being honest with us. <laughs> it's possible. Can, can you truly imagine that man running? It's a hard story to believe. <laughs> it, it does sound incredibly implausible. Are you sure he was running? I could show you the exact motion with which he retreated if you gave me some way. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. All right, great. Back up. So, uh, are you guys, are you guys all watching? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm watching, I'm watching. All right, you're all ready? I will, yeah. I will now describe using my form and function how he escaped. He tumbles <laughs> along the ground. <laughs> oh, yep, all right, that's how he did it. Is that that's the way he was I going? See. And. Oh man, I should have escaped there. <laughs> that's, that's likely true. In what direction was he rolling? Well, I mean, when I saw him running out of the train yard, he was going this way. He summons a giant arrow. So <laughs> Gora looks and decides, oh, this looks like a comfy bush, and he sits down. Yeah, he ran that way, huh? So we do have to deal with Locksmith Magoo. Ah, all right. Yeah. So, so how about my part of the deal? How about how about l l letting old Larry go? <laughs> Larry's a good guy. You can let yes, him go. Yes, I suppose we should. After all, it's not like a bullet buddy to go back on their word. <laughs> He's still a criminal. Oh man, you found one too? Yeah, this place is weird. It has like float bullets. <laughs> hey, Bob found one. Bob, show him your bullet, dude. Shut, shut up, man. <laughs> dude, shut up. Hey, man, you I'm know nothing to, of these to... bullets' origin, then. No, I have no idea how this is done. Probably an epithet. I don't know. I'm not magic. I don't know the business. He has summoned an arrow before. <laughs> Are we like? Do they like not give a shit? Can we just walk right back into town? I fucking guess. Yeah. I mean, you're probably just gonna jump down the well anyway. <laughs> yeah, well seems That's pretty racist. comfy. Yes. That's where all your friends no, are. No, it's true. I'm afraid this place has broken all of our spirits. So yes, you may leave. It's a very <laughs> you know. It's, All right, you guys are gonna go back down south. I'm beginning to yeah. wonder if we are good cops. We're pretty good cops. That we was not directed at you. They don't give free donuts to bad cops, right? I don't know how true that is. <laughs> I'll drive in Redwood One. Okay. I got it. The Redwood they're, one. they're already there. Redwood One. Yeah. The uh, the Bushido blasters that were in front of you walk next to the guy looking at the sky and join him. <laughs> That's about right. Yeah. Just ignore them. Don't make eye contact. Don't acknowledge them. I mean, that it would be difficult like... to make eye contact while they're looking at the sky. Percy's <laughs> gonna take a quick look to see whether either of these guys is conscious yet. Um, Arnold is. So, what do you know about this necklace? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Also, where am I? Is your epithet deals? No. Yeah. Do you have any idea where your opposite number might have rolled to? Oh, that guy. Well, I guess there's no problem with knocking him down a few pegs if I gotta fail my first mission. Uh, I mean, he went east to get out, and then he probably went into the woods knowing him because he doesn't have a car. At least he didn't have one when he got into town. I think they just dropped them off in little droves with their vans. You know, the Bushido Blasters, they're not even like an organized army or anything. They just are like a bunch of step van soccer moms who are bored on weekends. And this is just what they do. I got that impression when they all started plugging up the well with their bodies. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, we Don't do ask any questions. Just 
All right. What yeah. they lack yeah, so in what uh, sensible vehicle choices, they do seem to have in numbers. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, I mean, that's because there's no recruitment standards. Not like Bliss Ocean. Much better. He begins, like, taking one of his laminated coupons and using it as a makeshift knife to cut the donut into neat segments. <laughs> if you're still hungry, I can give you another one. I, have I would one. appreciate that. Yeah, okay. sure. He what interest does Bliss Ocean have in uh, stopping the Bushido blasters from transporting this necklace? I mean, we don't like them. They suck. <laughs> like, we're not bad people. It's just you guys and the law that says we're actually criminals. We're just trying to equalize epithets and regular people. You know, like, I got an epithet, but I'm not a dick about it. Unlike yeah. that guy. <laughs> he yeah, was, like, like throwing <laughs> eggs at me. I mean, that is true. Out of the two of you, I'm pretty sure you are the one who is less of a dick. Sorry about your balls, by the way. Was that what that was? <laughs> it was faced the other way. Man, I was saving those for a special lady who I haven't met yet. Shh, I wish my mom would stop asking. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, a different special lady took them prematurely. Sorry about that. Yeah, he like slowly sits down on this bench. I mean, the necklace is just generally valuable. Like, you saw that thing last week, right? On TV? That no. ridiculous tournament? Yeah, yeah, no? yeah, I was watching no. it. It was pretty great. We watched it with Mr. Yeah, so, oh man, who was your favorite? Who were you rooting for? I really like Giovanni. He was great. Ew. I Ew. <laughs> Ew. He is both the Bushido Blaster and Giovanni Potage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he was a Gross. Bushido Blaster? Whoa. Mm. Whoa. I found the fights not to my liking, but the announcers really helped it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were good. I they didn't catch good. it. I was a bit busy that night. Yeah, well, I mean, the necklace is valuable. Like, being able to take and duplicate an epithet, there's a lot of uses for that. How many of you guys have epithets? Oh, I, I have one, but, but you know that. We're friends. Eros doesn't yeah. say anything. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Mine? Yeah, I'll t I don't know. Tell me, tell me all three of yours. I'll tell you mine. There, that's oh, that's a good deal. Oh, uh, like, sure. Are you sure you're not a dealsman? I'm, I'm afraid a... I can only allow that if you have a coupon for it. I actually do. He says. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> that was a really good joke, yeah. Percy. I also have joke coupons. Let me take one out. He takes oh. out what looks like a popsicle stick thing that has like some weird paper on it. Mm hmm. Why did the turnip go? Oh, no, no, that, oof. That was in bad taste. <laughs> did the popsicle joke get very dark? Yeah, it got real dark. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, was it, was, it, was it that one about uh, turning up the uh, the heat? Yeah, well, well, don't say any more than that. It gets way worse. <laughs> <laughs> dark Google, show me the forbidden popsicle jokes. Anyway, yeah. Lockhart, this is too much for me. He's too powerful a negotiator. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, so you said you were going to share epithets? I want to share epithets because we're all friends, right? Yeah. You give me all three of yours, I'll give you mine. Here's my signature. He uh, writes down his name, Arnold Markdown. <laughs> Arnold Markdown. Oh, this desk is suddenly very interesting. My epithet, <laughs> my epithet is Bluster. Bluster. All right, he writes that down. Oh yeah, maybe if you sit there, you'll become the real sheriff, and then we can actually <laughs> accomplish something. Eros Don't... glances at this computer that looks way too technological to exist in this town. Don't Twenty actually... bucks says it's not plugged in. <laughs> I don't actually know the other Jews, though. Sorry. Did you actually tell him your epithet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a fairly common thing. It's just a good deal. I can, like, take this back and we can have the information in case we need to get rid of your epithets or anything. You never know. <laughs> well, we're friends. We're friends. It's not a big problem. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind you. Hell, this door's not even locked. Shake <laughs> <laughs> uh, that! I can't Heroes give you my epithet, steaming. but I can give you something far more valuable. Oh, yeah? The location of a certain Canadian dollar. <laughs> a Canadian dollar is barely worth more than an American dollar. <laughs> Actually, it's what? less at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I've been marked down. I'll count that as your epithet. <laughs> One more. 
No? All right. Oh. Uh, what if we beat up Fatty McLard Fat for you? Sure. That sounds good. That sounds like a win-win. We gotta right. figure out where he is, though. Oh. I mean... Probably just running. Yeah. He yeah. just needs to have that necklace. It's, it's a shame I couldn't steal it, but at least it didn't... It didn't get on the train, did it? I passed out after you. Kick me in the balls. No. How he how he's got the train covered. He's pretty cool. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> oh, it's better than the turnip. <laughs> per Percy turns to Goro. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, his name is Howie, and I asked Howie does yes. it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> you said that he rolled into the forest, most likely, right? Yeah, somewhere. I mean, there's a lot of forest. Hmm. Do you know where these guys have their base set up by any chance? <laughs> it's nowhere near. Uh, uh, yeah, a base. A Bushido vast base. That is a good one. I appreciate your sense of humor in these dire times. My balls still hurt a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose they probably wouldn't have a base, would they? No, they are I, terrible. I guess their base right now is the well. Mm. Ah, well, I'm gonna eat this donut. <laughs> you have fun with that. I will attempt to. He does not. <laughs> well, there's only one direction of woods we haven't checked. So let's yeah. go there post haste. Sure. All right. Uh, that. You guys walk over to this area. Goro's not supposed to be a smart guy, so you guys know. <laughs> I got the impression. Uh, in general, you would probably tell your epithet if you were genuinely good friends with somebody, or if you worked with them in combat scenarios where it would be beneficial for you to know it. Not to say Indus isn't a giant idiot. <laughs> yeah, Indus is what he is. You guys walk in here and see Dururu in the middle. It looks like he's been waiting. Like, he wanted a better escape attempt than that fucking door. Uh, so he kind of, like, wiggles at you in a way that implies that you should roll initiative. Oh, but, but Mr. Ruru, are we fighting with you today? Okay. He's been waiting here for God knows how long. Yeah, he was sitting crisscross applesauce in the middle of the woods. Uh, and can each of you guys give me a roll for perception? Sure. Oh. Oh, Meryl, wanting so hard for something to make some amount of sense, looks past him, because uh, you see him kind of eyeballing something behind him. Uh, you see in these bushes way over here on the right, if I can actually grab it, uh, there is a motorcycle hidden over here. Oh, is it the robot? It looks like... Dururu nods. It looks like it is designed for escape. <laughs> so he is going to use slick looks, and he poses at you. Uh, Goro, you think he looks pretty slick. You don't want to catch him. <laughs> and that is... That's surprising. typical. That's in character. And he, he begins moonwalking away. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty in character indeed. All right, that's his turn. I was not made for fast getaways. Oh, oh is that a deer? There's a deer back there. <laughs> there is. There is a deer. Standing right in line for that motorcycle. The poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. my turn. How, how did you move that? Holy far? shit! Yeah. What the hell? I did. Dude, I did you you move four spaces a turn. There's no way you could have gone fifty feet. Oh no, that's a good point. Sorry. Whoops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He sort of looks at you, shakes his head like same shit as always, <laughs> and looks at the rest of you like, "Are you gonna give me any run for my money here?" Merrill shrugs. All right, Eros. I move quite slow, so this is a predicament. Why does he look like Eros's blonde brother? <laughs> brother. They do look like they're brothers. I'll let That's you take a shot bridge. at. No, but I'll let you take a shot if you want. Uh, would it be using my ability, or would it be? You would have to, yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll do. I'll pull out the gun in my pocket. It clips off. Uh, oh, actually, all right. I thought this was a rock. It's not. It's a beehive. <gasps> uh, 
That beehive falls down and begins buzzing all around Duru, who looks unperturbed at the bees that are clearly stinging him. You see a single tear run from down his sunglasses, and he double guns you again. Oh my god. I actual gun him back. All right, Percy. Okay, uh, I, I'll have a foundation here, although I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Double move. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> so he's not uh, he's not actually within range of my uh, weapon, but Meryl's going to spray in his general direction because she figures this guy's weird. He probably wants that. <laughs> Oh, God. And with any luck, a stray bullet might hit the gas tank of the motorcycle. That's pretty optimistic, though. Especially with that roll. Do you want to take that or go again? Uh, I want to go again. Go big or go home. No! <laughs> go home. You hit a bee. <laughs> Somewhere Howie coughs. <laughs> Alright, Duru, still moonwalking, trying so hard to look like he's not bothered by these bees, <laughs> uh, hops on the motorcycle and begins revving it up. Goro. Oh, look at this really nice deer! <laughs> you step over the deer skull and continue walking towards the deer alive. Uh, roll for handle animal. That deer, that deer fucking books it. There was a motorcycle revving three <laughs> feet from it, and you are what scared it. <laughs> Eros. The bees end up, uh, they're following him, still stinging him, so this is like a safe area. Alright, uh, he can see me, right? Yeah. <laughs> would it be applicable to use bare basics? <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> This is gonna get sexy. Of course. Oh man, that's pretty good. With a sexy you, 17. You do a sexy pose at him. He like looks like, can I resist such a challenge? <laughs> he looks like he's slowing down the motorcycle rev a little. All right, Percy. Percy's gonna move here. Since all the bees are on uh, him. Are on him right now. She sees her chance to get some honey to try to make things up to <laughs> Howie and grabs the bee's nest. All right, you have a beehive. <laughs> anyway, so she'll she'll end her move here. And... You, can do so, you can do an action if you want, in addition to swiping the beehive. It's just on the ground. That thing got fucking blown apart. <laughs> okay, so I'd like her to place a foundation and sproing a wizard tower up underneath the motorcycle. <laughs> All right. Give me a roll for it. Ta -ta. Please be a one. Uh, the wizard tower sproings up underneath him, and Dururu goes flying. He is going to attempt to <laughs> land lying down in a sexy pose. No, he sure. He lands with his head in the sand and the rest of his body dangling in midair. It makes a sexy pose, but it looks very glitched. Do the bees land in a sexy pose? They do now. Uh, all right, then. Sure, I'll I'll wizard tower at him. Okay. All right. Oh. Uh, grab your proficiency point. Yay! Um, I gotta go I get will... your tower. Sorry. Yep. I forgot your tower. That's fine. You're not gonna need it. Combat's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you got that. I was sad about all those ones. <laughs> so Percy, in a wizard-like turn, bursts him up into the air. He slams down like an ostrich who is trying to be sexy and failing. And uh, a giant bolt of lightning clears the skies and lands on him, hitting every single bee. Uh, <laughs> And for but a moment, their heartbeats are all in sync with Duru's. They do a little dance and all of them pass out. <laughs> He's in the sand. His motorcycle falls out of the tree and it's fine. It's a motorcycle. Combat's over. That was good effort. <laughs> well, what are we going to do with him now? Put him in a cell? He's going to get out. Mr. Ru, are you all right? He flashes you a foot's up. <laughs> Whatever oh, the that even mean? It's like, you know, you take the big toe. And you stick, thumb up. Stick the leggy out. I, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry, but we are going to have to take you back to the cell. Are you all right with this? 
He sort of nods excitedly, like, shit, yeah, I actually got caught, and not, like, by accident. <laughs> Alright, let's If you're, that, if you're right. that happy about the circumstances, perhaps you could be of some help to us? Do you have any idea what's been going on in this town? He still doesn't talk, but he pulls <laughs> out a bullet that looks the same as those floaty bullets, and takes out a map of town, the well of which is just scratched out and it says danger next to it. <laughs> and uh, up north, he has drawn a little gross picture of um, Bugsley Pugsler. And there is like a little he went this way directional thing coming from about like this area and then like north and then a little east. So he's in that area you were just in. Yep. That certainly helps move things along despite your uh, nonsense. I knew I could count on you because you're my best friend. He has no reaction to that. <laughs> Is that your motorcycle or did you steal that from someone? I just need to know. You look at the side of the motorcycle. Boy, oh boy, does it totally look like his. <laughs> <laughs> All it, right. is, it is decked out in the same weird daredevil attire that he is, and it says a room on the side of it. <laughs> we'll just leave that for you when you do your time. Yeah, right. most of this is already reserved, but uh, Percy offers him a small piece of honeycomb. <laughs> he takes some of it and, like, snaps and gives you a gun and then keeps walking. So I assume you guys are just gonna like take him back to prison, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. That ha- With your uh, escapades, ha- attempt to not let the other two prisoners out. Uh, he doesn't seem to have any interest in that. <laughs> uh, so uh, while you guys take him back to prison, this would be a good time to do a bathroom food break. Sweet. Yeah, I, so I was gonna ask for bathroom, one. So. Will do. All right. Yep. Uh, so I'm gonna also do that. And then, let's say, let's say like five ten minute break, probably ten minutes. We had no plans of people just throwing themselves in a well. Oh, yeah, just, I, I assumed not. <laughs> it just kind of happened. Although, We're after go- it happened so many times, I was beginning to wonder if that was actually the indication that, like, the way the guy escaped was down the well, and that's, like, where the dungeon was. <laughs> <laughs> we fucked up. We fucked up. We have five minutes. We have five minutes. Make a map. Make a map. All of you should add one more proficiency because uh, doing your goddamn jobs and actually catching Dururu oh, and putting nice. him in prison get, uh, gets you each a proficiency. Would the story have changed if we had let him go? If by story you mean you wouldn't have caught Dururu, <laughs> then yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rube, you have this ability now. Yes! Yes! What is it? I'm away from the computer. A movement buff! Meryl, yes, you actually do level up again. Yeehaw. Uh, If you somehow damage an adjacent enemy, you immediately heal them as a free action. Uh, Sorry, it says enemy. It should be target. We were at one point so ahead of schedule, I added something. What'd you Uh, add? I'll tell you at the end. All right. going to take the beehive to Howie, and then I assume we're going north. I sure hope Howie didn't feel all those bees get KO'd. As you go here, you notice the train is gone, the clock is repaired, and Howie and his fellas are gone. Damn. All right. uh, She'll definitely be keeping it for next time they meet, though. Yes, the same (laughs) beehive. I've been... That's, like, weirdly something I could totally see Percy doing, Uh actually. Actually, yeah. I think Howie might be on I board can't for lose it. To Howie or to these bees. Uh, I will very briefly switch you guys to here because I know you're going north, but you also see the two dudes who are loading apples. <laughs> Apparently, Howie swung by and threw him in there before he left. That was nice of nice. him. Cool. On the walk, Meryl asked Percy, "So, like, do you have Howie's <laughs> number or anything?" Oh, I've got his number. Just holds up the beehive. <laughs> that is the exact kind of answer I should have expected. Well, if he I, runs if, a business, I assume he has a professional phone number, if nothing else. You know, it's true. It's an 800 number. It used to no. be a 900 number, but he got sued for fraudulent business practices for charging people to talk about honey. <laughs> <laughs> so does he get paid in honey, or what? Did... No, he got paid in... Canadian dollars. <laughs> you look at the well, sadly. There's sadly. Now, 
There's now about 40 people stacked up above it. You didn't see this many people when you came into town. You don't know why this is happening. <laughs> you can only assume that the guys who walked off came back and threw themselves yeah. into the well. She shakes her head sadly. <laughs> it's gone forever. <laughs> All right. And as you guys reflect on that, you do indeed go up here to the northern wilds. And, there he uh, is. Oh, God. I'm so lost. <laughs> <laughs> He's lost and long, long. basically naked. <laughs> yep. Oh, God, he is. <laughs> he is wearing a pink shirt now that totally is three sizes too small for him that says Foxy Grandpa on it. <laughs> It's like part of it has some spit on it. So oh, that's howdy use... mornings, isn't it? No. <laughs> what? No, I got this from my. Oh God! All <laughs> oh, right, uh, you're under arrest. No. <laughs> Sorry. All right, fine. Last, last stand. Come and get me. Don't even roll initiative. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right. <laughs> all right. But uh, as you guys walk towards him, <laughs> about 300 bullets come out of the woods and all pound into him. <laughs> what? Whoa. Uh -oh. oh, oh, was it me this time? Oh. oh <laughs> Meryl says that and feels a little bit relieved, actually. <laughs> uh, this and power. This Percy draws her sword. <laughs> <laughs> per Percy, I don't think that was you. Although yeah, I hope uh, it was. A little bit above, if you scroll up, a woman wearing a poncho and a long scarf with a sun pattern on it comes out from behind a redwood tree. Howdy. I'll be taking this one. Uh... Wait, no, he's a criminal. We need to arrest him. Oh, that's fine. I'm a criminal, too. Then we have to arrest you! Meryl draws her gun. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, so at least Eros and Percy would absolutely know this person. This is one of the gun ho guns at the very head tippity top of the Bliss Ocean group. Uh, her name is Zora Oh, they're part Se of Bliss Ocean? I thought the gung ho guns were the head of uh, the Bushido Blasters. No, Bushido Blasters suck. Yeah, Bushido <laughs> okay. They're led by Giovanni Potage. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, so she is one of those dudes. So... This is a very high-profile criminal. Uh, Goro does not know this. So if you all scroll up to a level where you can see, uh, both Bugsley and Zora in the middle here, mm -hmm. I will go ahead, uh, go ahead and give me rolls. Combat has started. Let's grab- oh, not this song. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Shit. That's amazing. Oh and right God. as you guys do that to hammer this moment in forever. Holy shit, Jello. That looks That looks cool. Yeah, that, was, that looks really good. So the four of us try to do like the JoJo let's go walk and then we all trip. I mean, I'll roll for Zora. <laughs> but uh Come on. <laughs> she takes out two really huge trigun revolvers. All right. If I actually, you know, used my epithet, you guys would be blown away in an instant. So how's this for a deal? All of you fight me, and I won't even use my epithet once to attack you. But if you guys can take me down, you get to arrest me, and you'll probably all get some real nice promotions. Sound fun? I think that's fair. I don't even want to promote- I just want to get out of this town, and you're going to stop me from doing that! I'm arresting you because it's convenient! <laughs> all right. <laughs> Percy, this was not part of the job. It's this is part like... of the job now. Oh, well, I, I just I just want things to be cleaned up again, honestly. Goro so doesn't know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> no, he Goro, is. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. We are class ones. She's a class two. And a criminal. Oh. And she's gonna get a bunch of machine guns to her face! Meryl, don't go off on your own this time. Percy draws her sword. I think You're I don't outgunned. have a choice. You're outgunned, and I don't want to have to worry about keeping you alive. Oh, yeah, because you did a really good sure job of that last time. You have there, she says, with her two guns. Uh, where would you like your little thing? Uh, yeah, to the north of me, please. Well, all right, here we go. Is Bugsley dead? 
He's out of commission. Okay. One, two, three, four. Stop you right there. Oh. All right. Um, as you step here, you trigger something very similar to what hit Bugsy, and a bullet clips you for four damage. Ooh. It Nasty. zooms out of a tree and shoots you. Oh, well, I can't just disable all of those, so those don't count as using my epithet to attack you. Sorry. I did need to set them up for the fat man. Oh, you mean me? <laughs> Goro raises his hand. I have no idea who the hell you are. <laughs> it came out of here and went this way. Okay. Uh, let me take that four off. Is there a way to do a perception check to see if uh, see where they are and how to avoid them? You can try. They are bullets in a forest. I mean, Meryl was pretty good at spotting motorcycles. That's true. I suppose we might as well make the attempt. Well, Percy doesn't see shit. Percy sees the blood on her face from being shot. Goro, you see another one right here. Can you put like a marker there? Uh, yeah, I'll just make it visible. All right, well, for the moment, Percy's going to- Oh, no, you don't get to move any further. Oh, okay. Percy's gonna build a foundation right to the south of Bugsley and see whether placing it there can trigger the bullets to get it out of the way, first all right, of all. It, it does indeed trigger the bullet. Bullet flies off, it chips the foundation, doesn't break it. Bullet's gone. And she'll spend three more stamina to make that an apothecary, this one. Okay. Oh boy, Zora's turn. Oh hell, y'all got epithets too. All right, this is actually gonna be fun then. Good, I was worried you were just some dude with a sword. She doesn't realize you're a chick. Let's see oh, if I can make God. this shot. She aims for Eros and is very far away. <laughs> oh, 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 perfect aim. <laughs> uh, Let's see if I remember how to shoot this thing backwards. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it blows up in her hand. Uh, oh. All right and the gun goes flying off somewhere. Ow. All right, well, that was embarrassing. Let's try again. She fires again. All right, that is successful. Uh, six damage to Eros. Man, I, All I right, really wish I it was that one. And she uh, rolls off this direction. Oh, and she gets to move again, actually. So she's gonna go ahead and disappear into this tree. Let's see how well she does that. Nope. She hides behind a tree very obviously and winks out at you like, God damn it, where did my gun go? <laughs> it blew up all over. I, wow, I did not maintain that very well at all. Her turn's over. She thinks she can hide in the tree from me? I can spot a motorcycle from 300 yards. <laughs> it was like 40 feet. 300 yards. <laughs> it's Sailor's warning. <laughs> Go. One, two, three, four. And I will use instant relief on Eros. Bro! Oh, yeah, all right. I didn't even uh, have that much to heal, but thanks. You're definitely fully healed as you go, what the fa? And on the fa, <laughs> you swallow the pill she shoots into your body. <laughs> I am pissed right now. Wait, that worked? Yep. Do I get proficiency from that? You get two proficiency. Everybody's had a crit except for me. <laughs> hey, chin up. You got a crit fail. Rude. Goro. Um, I am actually going to attempt deflating the purpose. Okay, where all, do you want to go? All the way back here. I want to try to get behind Zora. All right, so good I luck. That's pretty ambitious. ambitious. Do your best. Maybe you should move that's, first. That's real far away, and there's a lot of trees, but I will let you try. Yeah, maybe take four, your four first, to try and All get right. as many yeah. head start it as you can. It won't really make a difference. You get to here. Okay. Hey, with your four movement, that's a good. Impress, yeah. Yep, and that'll be, I think, three stamina for you. Yep, I gotta take that out right now. All right, Everybody arrows. Uh, so I'll just double move. I don't have anything. Percy. Okay. Uh, Percy is going to regain three from the apothecary. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I, I just, it was expecting a bullet. 
Okay. <laughs> um, for now, I'm just gonna build a second apothecary. Uh, there it is, Zora. She is going to use spur of the moment to fix her gun. Oh boy. Oh boy, is that fixed forever. She uh, sure is polarized. And let me add a... Proficiency bonus. <laughs> yes, let me add that. She is now at 100, which puts her at class three. Let's pretend oh. I did all that shit on purpose. That was her first thing. She's going to continue firing at arrows because she feels bad. Yep, six damage. Uh, then she gets to combat roll, which she will do one, two, three. Move one, two, three, four. And she is going to attempt to disappear again. Uh, all right, yep. You are not entirely sure where she went. But if we saw her go there in the first place, are we- She's like around that area. You don't have a clear shot. All right, well, second verse, same as the first. I'm going to uh, gonna use instant relief on arrows. You <laughs> drop a bunch of pills. Oh. <laughs> Can I, uh, can I perceive, by the way? Sure. Will, can you go one by one in all the buildings and make it so they're controlled by the whole party so they can see them? Oh, sure. Let's see if I can spot me a motorcycle. No. You sure see woods. Hmm. Maybe I'm, see... maybe I'm not as good at spotting people as I am motorcycles. You didn't see her move out of this area, so she's probably still there. Here we go! All right. I think there was a clerical one, error. Two, three, four... Oh, so hang on. Uh, -oh. uh, as you step here, can you stand in this spot? Am I in the GM layer? All right. Yeah. You somehow didn't notice this. There is, there's just a bullet hanging in dead space. You thought it was a leaf or an acorn or something. Oh. And it baps you for four. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can that make a roll and then I get to use my thick skin passive? Oh yeah, sure, go for it. Can you also read that out loud so people know what it does? Oh, sure. that's gonna be real helpful in this fight. Yep, I know. I haven't really actually gotten shot with a ranged weapon yet. Thick skin, anytime Goro takes a ranged attack, you may roll a d20. If you roll substantially higher than your enemy's attack roll, the attack will bounce off in a, a random direction. Rolling a one will cause you to pop, as seen in deflating purpose and zip around the map. All right, I will roll for this shot. All right, it's gonna be hard to beat. No, sorry, you get oh. shot for four. Okay, well, that it was good try. Fun. But it was good of you to remind me of that. Uh, may I make a perception? Yes. You look over here. She's not on the ground, and you can see all the ground over here. Okay. So she might have climbed the tree, Eris. Double move. Huh? Eh? Eh? None? All Eros right. is thrusting forward, waiting for bullets. And They'll hit me dick I first, think it's about freaks. time to get down and go. High burn. noon! <laughs> High noon! Alright, what are you doing? Taking off all my clothes. All of it? This seems like a situation that warrants it. <laughs> Eros, no! <laughs> Alright, roll for get naked. Oh, it's like Rock Lee taking off the weights. Oh, jeez. You are naked and glorious in the setting sun. <laughs> uh, that's actually good enough for something. Hang on. You do hear from up above. <laughs> but that is not the something I was talking about. Give me one minute. From out of the woods comes the man who turned gay. <laughs> So what, was he just going to become a bush person? He was just going to live out here and then found a gay guy? It's only been like <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's fair. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> Percy, uh, okay. pick who you want to heal and how. Yep, um, so the bottom apothecary is just going to heal me for free. Uh, this one here is going to heal everyone for one. Going to move here. Percy is going to build a <laughs> wizard tower here. And if successful, use it to strike the tree with lightning. Uh, Jello, I PM'd you. Well, I didn't catch you in time, so I will let you do that. Uh, Percy, as you step forward past that apothecary, and, uh, you do get shot for four, you also trigger another bullet with that wizard tower. <laughs> uh, it will not be destroyed. 
Okay. But it is gonna be a little weakened. Oh, is this the life of Percy? God. <laughs> These diagrams. It's even better with all the shit on the GM layer. <laughs> which is highlighted in an almost identical color. Whoa. That's, That's just... pretty good. There are no opponents in that range, so it will strike the tree where you think she is. Uh, okay. And part of, part of the tree sets on fire and falls down. And uh, she, you you hear Zora, uh, like Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> she falls down a little bit and then stops in midair and reverses and goes back up to the top of the tree. Uh, you can now see her. She's about a hundred feet in the air. Ah, okay. That tree ah. is the. Oh, it's a red they're woods. redwoods. Okay, all right. That's more reasonable. You uh, are a little unsure how she climbed that fast. You look behind her. Where there was no other tree before, there is now a second tree. Damn. All right, that thing sucks. She climbs across. She's gonna shoot the wizard tower. Misses. She's gonna shoot it again. Oh boy, does she hit. That's her second turn. That was no fun. She jumps out of the tree. She starts very, very slowly descending and then descends impossibly fast and slams into Eros for seven damage. Ouch. Man, you are... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he just wiggles his eyebrows. James is like, I know, right? <laughs> that is her turn. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And we're going to use lethal injection. All right. Uh, give me a roll for it. Arrows sweats. Relax, I have a buffer now. It's point blank, I shouldn't miss. Plus I talked really big, so maybe this will work out for me. Oh boy. Wait, okay, so this. you fire fairly well directly at her neck, which is covered in her giant scarf. That kind of looks like bacon when you look at it up close. Uh, <laughs> and as it fires at her, she sort of looks at your bullets and they just like slowly march at her like ants on parade and she just picks up all of them and puts them in her pocket. Hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Meryl pockets her gun. She probably won't be needing that any further. <laughs> you do have more bullets, and she did get a 20. <laughs> Damn, man, three 20s. She's Didn't you say that gun. this was the most competent of the fucking gung ho guns? I said she's the least of a lethal joke. <laughs> most competent might be the wrong word. <laughs> You sure? She's looking pretty threatening. Well, okay. uh, yeah, my I turn's will... over. Here, you know what? Percy and Eros, give me a roll. Percy, that's up? absolutely good enough. You don't know what her epithet is, and nobody does, because that would be detrimental for her. Uh, but you do know she has the ability to passively dodge bullets uh, if she rolls higher than their shot once per round. Mm -hmm. Does it cost her any stamina? No. Okay. That's oh. like our passive, I'll just assume. Okay. Yes. Yes, putting that gun away is a wise choice, Meryl. Goro, like, do you still have your mug of beetles? Yeah, yo, yo, I do. Can you figure oh. out the rest of this? Oh! <laughs> okay, okay. All, all right, I got, I got this. I got he this, drinks guys. the beetles. <laughs> <laughs> he oh, drinks yeah, I got this. Boom. Drinks the beetles. Um, so it is Goro's turn now, you guys? Yep. Yes. So Goro's gonna waltz up up here and going to um, throw the mug of beetles at Zora's face. By the way, is her epithet bullet? No. Okay. Oh! Um, you get some beetles on her. She's got a lot of cloth. She doesn't notice at first. Well, is maybe later. The beetles are a long-term investment. And I yeah, the beetles are crawling all over her. She doesn't notice yet. I assume that was my turn. No. So I can I'll go let again? you do something else. Sure. Nice. I'm gonna do a baker's dozen. Um. No! <laughs> I can't even. Uh, you I... don't manage to open your box of donuts. <laughs> oh man. All right, well. that's your turn, James. <laughs> it's James's big try. I'm gonna do you know, proud, this is Mister. Like his boss <laughs> by several leagues up. Yeah. He he did. He recognizes immediately that he'd rather uh, attack the lady who attacked his boss, and you don't need to explain anything. He did have a gun, by the way, before he got blown off. Oh, I yeah. shouldn't have faced it that way. 
So um, <laughs> let me go ahead and make his bar of bullets visible to you because it is limited for him as he's just a mook. So he's going to fire at Zora. Oh, uh, that's good enough. He clips her for three. Hey, any extra help is first ah. blood. <laughs> Where the hell did you come from? Gay okay, land. What? <laughs> Gay land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have that effect on people. That's as far as he's gonna go. Eros. Alright, so I'm gonna use my move action to vault up in the air and come back down on top of her to... Oh, revenge! Revenge! It's a fucking competition, you see. Damn. You end up on the other side of her. You shoot a little yeah. too far. That's a move action, so now I'm just gonna take the pole I jumped with and and jabber in the back. I'm at nude, so I'm at full strength. Oh, you're right. You're real naked. So uh, <laughs> that'll do, I'll give that six damage. That'll be plus two. Oh man, your deck was just flopping around when you leapt through the air. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh I love you, Sergeant Arrows. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, who gets heals? Uh, Aaron picks up the heals for himself. <laughs> this, this time, yeah. All right. Since All of Eros, it? Eros is out of range. Yeah, anyway. I... Yeah. Okay. Um, well, it's the final battle, so it's time to put all my cards on the table. So I'll construct my third type of building. Uh, and I'll put it right here. I believe it's Forge is what it's called. Forge, yeah. This is adds um, two to attack and damage rolls. Yeah. Percy's going to back up slightly to take cover behind her apothecary. <laughs> That I'm just imagining time. Percy, like, just crouched behind this little mushroom yeah. house. <laughs> yeah. With the most serious with, Yeah, no, with expression. a completely serious expression on her face. Like, arms <laughs> around her knees, like that kind of squat. Aw. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Like, you're... Man, you're real handsome looking. I'll say it. I'm very attracted to you. I wonder... How you gonna hold up? She... Let's see if this works. <laughs> oh, God. That's, she taps you, and you age 20 years. Uh, you now take oh. one fatigue damage every turn. Uh, may I? Oh. Do you still look very attractive? May I attempt to interrupt this by copying a feel? <laughs> <laughs> you can, yeah. I have this for a reason. Oh! oh. Probably not good enough, That's but not it was quite worth good a try. Enough. That's not you know? quite good enough, sorry. Right, it was worth so a try. James is horrified. Okay. Well, no, now he's, now he's a silver fox. <laughs> what is Eros like? 30s, 40s? Mid 30s. Is, right. is your, uh, is your yeah, it's probably... temporal? Temporal. Nah. She uh, steps over here and pushes Goro. Uh, oh. She pushes you here where you get hit by two bullets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you may attempt to use your skin. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I guess I get to do it twice, right? Um, just do it once, try and beat that 16. Whoa! Oh, shit! Yeah. Really? Uh, I will count that as a proficiency upgrade. Yes! It's t she dingles behind you, goes, whoops, and pushes you, and you just go boring, boring. Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> what the fucking hell? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm enjoying this more than I thought I would. This is great. <laughs> With her last of three turns, she <laughs> leans down and taps the ground. Uh, another tree appears from a little sapling, and she shoots high up into the air. You can still see her. She's about 60 feet up. This one didn't grow as high as the last one. Oh, uh, that's her turn. So it is now Meryl. Let's go one. Do anything to knock the tree down? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I can I can try to do it with a wizard tower again, but... Six. Um, I'm going to hang out with you. I'm going to reload my gun. Can you heal Eros or Goro? Uh, I could. You can just heal check without uh, using stamina if you want. It's not as effective, but it works. Nah, this is good. I don't think they're in danger zone right now. Plus uh, my, uh... I mean, I guess, but Eros is nearly down to half, and we want to keep him high, right? I mean, instant Very relief hard. doesn't heal that much. The only reason why it looks like it did is because I got a 20 before. Well, do as you will. All right, I'm going to attempt this baker's dozen again. On she's the tree? She's in the tree. Oh, that's right. She's in the tree. Um, you can still it's 60 do it. feet up, I can't reach that with my gun. You could uh, use your balloon thing to get up there and attack her. You could attack the tree and punch it down. <laughs> you have the bonus from the forge. 
Um, all right, I'll go ahead and try to do the, uh, I'll, I'll try to punch the tree down. Plus two to this, I suppose. That's pretty good. Roll to damage tree. Okay, that's only one failure, which would bring it down to uh, 12, but it's got 14 right now. All right, uh, that's pretty good. I'm gonna have this tree wobble. She's gonna have to try not to fall out of it. Uh, all right, no, that's not good enough. Can she take damage if she falls? Uh, no, because she's just gonna hang in the air and slowly float down. Aw, oh, bummer. But she sure is out of the tree. And she's, you could hit her with a gun right now. James understands how these forges work, so he's gonna take a step forward and immediately be hit by a bullet to his left. <laughs> uh, that hurt James a lot. He's not Poor looking James. nice. All right, he'll, he'll try and shoot her up in the air. No, nope, oh, that's totally not good enough. You? He is a mook. Dude, you could leap on her and slam dunk her into the ground. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> so I'm going to use hidden vault to vault up and slam her. Oh. She sees this coming. You jump on top of her and she stops gravity from pushing you guys any further. And you guys are just hanging in the air <laughs> embracing. Hey there, <laughs> handsome. How you doing? Hey. Oh. <laughs> Feeling my joints cre creak a little bit, but other than that, you want you want to see something cool I can do with my power? She looks at your dick, which is hanging down ah, from regular gravity, no. and it just swings back and forth depending on uh, where you were in that jump, which she just switches back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> well, neat trick. It's like a pendulum. <laughs> <laughs> Since that was my move action, can I attempt to do something yeah. else while we're here? You should probably yeah, sure. also move yourself on the map to be where she is. Yeah, oh, I'm just gonna whack her. Okay, all right, that's successful. Nice. So that's another six. Ow, all right. That's <laughs> fine. Percy. You gotta do what a guy's gotta do. Okay, um, Meryl, are you at full? Yep. Okay, then six healing for Percy. <laughs> You're not going to heal... Sweat. You're not going to heal Eros? Eros is out of range. Oh. Uh, no, he's not. He definitely is. That thing is not 20 feet high uh, everywhere. It's a, oh. it's a It's a sphere thing. Hemisphere. All right. All right. Um, Thinking in the 3D plane is kind of... Yeah. I guess I could make another wizard tower, but I think I'm actually just going to throw out another apothecary and put it... Here. DMs are gone apothecary, post more right? apothecaries. Mods are asleep post apothecaries. <laughs> There's a lot going on. All right, that is Percy's turn. Yep. Zora looks at Eros and is like, all right, hug over. Uh, she flips you over, ages you a little more and slams the two of you into the ground about here. Uh, you now take two stamina damage per turn. Great. And take four damage from that fall. It's fairly intense. One, two, three, four, five. She is going to attempt to grab the only thing that is left uh, underneath Bugsley's gross folds of skin, which is the necklace, which she does. And then she is going to shoot Percy, which she does for six damage before rolling away. One, two, three, then she gets to move. One, two, three, four, five, six. She's not running away. She's just getting out of range. Meryl, I would maybe heal Eros. He's in oh, the apothecaries now. All right. <laughs> not a good excuse in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the apothecaries and like, how's your health, Aram? Is it actually that bad? I'm at nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't see because it's blocked by an apothecary. I mean, don't forget, I have to spend four stamina every turn to construct a new building, so that's why usually I have to take all the apothecary. All right, that's fair. I wasn't taking that anywhere near into account. All right, one, two, three. I'll 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 use instant relief on Eros. Okay. All right, he takes, uh, I'll give him seven heal. Thanks. And that'll give a plus one because of uh, malpractice makes perfect on the next heal. That's right. That's all I can do with my turn, though. Okay, Goro. Deflating the purpose. Okay, I'm just gonna this... try and hit her. Yep. Or okay, if I can just get it. closer in the general area, that'll help. Absolutely, go for it. All right. Eight. No. You move to here. 
and you still have uh, a move, a, yeah. Yeah. One, Though right, two. yeah, yeah, do what you want. Three, four. Man, her having the ability to stop my bullets is pretty, pretty. Uh... She can only do it once per turn, dude. Yeah, I know, but nobody is shooting her. You have three people. With, you have four teammates with bullets, including yourself. Believe me, if someone if someone shoots at her, then I will be more than happy to. All right, James goes to shoot at her and gets hit by another bullet. <laughs> He's not looking great. Oh no, I can't shoot at her. Oh no, I'm 65. Look, man, we I all have problems. My previous age. <laughs> all right. It's probably reversible. Well, I don't think she's gonna reverse it anytime soon. All right, that was James's attempt. Old man Eros, get your sexy <laughs> ass out there. Eros rocking the Joseph Joestar look. Should be in range for me to. Yeah, you can shoot her. Show my gun in my pocket. Wink. Siv's excited. Wink. Oh damn! Wink. She is gonna take double damage from that. You're not in range of the forge, right? No, you are not. Nope. Uh, a gun would not be affected by your old age, so that is going to be 16 damage. Oh, but she does get the chance. She can't possibly roll higher than this, but she can attempt it. No, absolutely not. She takes 16 damage. Nice! All right. Give, give those sweet heals. Yep, yep, yep. Um, two of them are in range of all of us, so... I'll have plus two to everyone, and then plus three to just me from the top one. You might want right, to that reversed those. my age damage. Nice. All right, that also gives James one health. Yep. Good job. Unless Percy hates him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. I'll go all in on this strat. I'm going to use my double thing to upgrade this one and this one to just heal more. And that will be Percy's turn. Zora turns around and like notices you guys don't look as bad as you should. And sort of, well, let's see if she puts two and two together. Uh, she don't know why you're feeling better, but them mushroom huts don't look no good. <laughs> <laughs> so she is going to attempt to trick shot one into the other. Nope, totally misses that first shot. And, gosh, is she out of bullets? Hang on. Uh, no, good. All right. Then she is going to try again to trick shot the bottom one to the middle one. Uh, she does some damage to both of them. Neither are down. And manages to get the free roll this way. Oh, she just sees a weird foundation over there and is like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This could be fun. One, two, three, four. Yeah, she can, just barely. She taps the foundation. Oh, she attempts to make her own wizard tower out of it. And boy, does she not make a wizard tower that is friendly to her. <laughs> <laughs> That'll attack on Percy's turn. She thinks she did a good job and looks proud. That's her turn. She builds up, she's like, yes, now the tables will turn. Meanwhile, Percy, like, steeples her fingers and smiles <laughs> faintly. <laughs> okay, Meryl. Think you'll be fine? Uh, yes, because both the off-pop carries have been upgraded. Yeah, all right. If you, want to, if you want to shoot her, then shoot her. Yes, two, three, four, five, six. I just want my chance at redemption. I'm gonna use lethal injection. <gasps> REDEMPTION! Absolutely nothing she can do against that. How much, does that do 12? No, it does, uh, it does 20. Holy shit, she is not happy about that one. She's looking pretty worse for wear and is especially pissed she got hit by that many bullets while constructing her new toy. And I get uh, two proficiency points. I'm at 24, do I get anything? You might actually. Yep, one of your healing abilities is now free. Cool. Well, that sucked. All right, good. Good gun. Good do. Whew. Okay, I might have underestimated y'all. Doro. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna load up my uh, pea shooter. <laughs> Insult to injury, more bullets. Specifically, he's gonna use the um, the bullet that he stole from the, uh, from the forest earlier. So it's one of her bullets that she's putting okay. into his gun. Are those beetles ever gonna come into effect? 
Oh shit, thank you for reminding me of those. Yes. And ten! She sort of sees that coming and is like, I'm not getting hit with that fucking toy gun, but then she does. <laughs> for three damage in the PA nice. shooter. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's not fine. <laughs> I'm not Beal. having a good time. All right, yeah, and because you reminded me, she notices uh, around all of her bleeding points in her poncho, <laughs> hundreds of beetles <laughs> falling around. Ew, she says, and all of them die. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, we grossed her out. <laughs> it was worth a try. James, terrified of more bullets in the woods, takes two <laughs> steps forward, looks around, takes a few more steps forward. That's as far as he can go. Hey, uh, <laughs> Poor James. To, to Percy. Are we cool? <laughs> she gives him a nod. Okay, good. Because, uh, he, like, removes part of his jacket and is bleeding to fuck all the- like, all over. Oh, man. Do you think he'll be okay with battle scars? He says, clearly referring to now 70-something-year-old Eros. <laughs> Eros isn't paying too much First attention. he gives him, like, a, a bro clap on the shoulder. Oh. <laughs> Eros is gonna be like... Uh, Eros, take two damage just from fatigue. Oh man, his 70 year old ball sack is just a hanging out. Oh yeah, he's totally naked next to Bugsley, who is also almost naked. <laughs> There's a lot more nudity than one would have hoped. First off, when she was up in the tree before Goro got her down, I was gonna use bare basics on the tree. <laughs> oh, that totally would have worked. Yeah, I know, but All right. I'm just gonna use it on her now. Hey. Aww. Your ear hair is not very sexy. I'll just move here. Okay. So this one up here is going to heal uh, Percy for three. Uh, That's, the... I thought we were cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. I'll heal the guy for one and Percy for one. This one's going to heal um, James, Percy, and Eros each for three. And this one's going to heal all the party members for three. James is looking a lot better than he was last turn. Uh, Percy is going to roll to attempt to dodge this lightning. She does. And she's Percy like, Percy sure hey, does dodge no, that lightning. Yeah, Percy, dodge that fucking lightning. <laughs> um, Zora dodges that lightning. It's like, whoa! Ah, you're a feisty one. I like it. <laughs> but I, I'll wrangle you yet. Percy is going to go ahead and I think drop down another forge. But where exactly? Let's put a forge uh, here, just to the left of Goro. Percy will move here and be done. Look at this glorious circle diagram. <laughs> yep. It's beautiful. Our, Zora's like, all right, now I'm angry. And she points her gun at Meryl and basically fans the hammer. And you take 12 damage. Ouch. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait, no, that is three bullets. So you take 18 damage. Ouch. Oh, Jesus. She is out of bullets, though. All right, she... Nice combat rolls this way. She doesn't care much for this thing anymore. She'll tap this on the way by and destroy it. That will cost her some stamina, though. Man, she is looking really bad. She's sweating a little. Not that you can fucking tell, given you can only see her eyes and her nose bridge. Yep, and her she... bullet holes. Two, three, four, five, and she's gonna try and take cover behind this tree and reload. So she reloads one of her guns. And that's our turn. All right, All right, gun people, get in that forge radius and shoot the shit out of her. I'd need to reload my gun. I don't think I'll be able to be a part of this final firing squad unless, uh, uh, who needs health and will probably get hit. I'm gonna guess arrows. <laughs> Three, four. I'll I'll hit you. I'll hit you with a little bit of that instant relief. I'll hit you with a bullet. <laughs> boy, oh boy, will you fire into the ground. <laughs> oh, hmm. A tree will appreciate that, I'm sure. <laughs> no, it won't. You're a loser. Hey, man. Don't worry about what she says. Blue Ocean guys are jerks. They are... Wait, aren't you a criminal, too? Yeah, that doesn't really have anything based on, like, against what I said. <laughs> 
I mean, you're both girls, but I don't both think you're the same thing. James is a cool person, though. James, James that doesn't <laughs> change anything! Marilyn's her turn. <laughs> Goro. One, two, three. And from here, he is going to shoot with that plus two. With your fucking pea shooter. All right, go for it. Woo! Oh, it's going to be real hard for her to... Actually, it's impossible. Unless she gets a 20. Nope. That's not she what that is. She gets hit by the dinkiest gun in the West. <laughs> <laughs> Man, are you... Are you serious? <laughs> are you, like, real serious right now? Yeah, it's, it's my prize pea shooter. I, I love my prize pea shooter. God damn... You know what? Gah! Gah! <laughs> It's really legitimately angry. The pea shooter looks like a dollar store space gun toy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pulls the trigger. <laughs> All right, that is Goro's turn. James can't get to, oh, he can get to this forge. Two, three, four, five. So he takes cover behind his dead boss, who is not dead, and <laughs> fires his best. And that's, man, that is good enough to hit her. For, I'm gonna give it one, because he is way out of the range of that gun. Oh, but does it go up to three because it's forged? You know what? It will. And she sees that and is like, fuck, no! <laughs> and uh, she already used her attempted uh, passive, but she's going to use a different ability called floor shadowing. And that is actually good enough. Uh, the shadows wiggle and waggle in a very weird way. And... She uses three stamina to use this ability, which is exactly as much damage as she'd take, but she feels better inside. <laughs> <laughs> you notice the sun moves a little bit as she does that. Holy crap. This lady's <sighs> powerful. Don't make me do that again. Now I wanted a challenge, I can't be mad. <laughs> I just didn't think I'd be stomped this much. With your magic mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> my magic mushrooms and my Pathetic sword, what will I do? And my pea shooter. My precious spoopy. My <laughs> precious whip. Yeah, your precious whip. I think it's time to bring out my secret weapon. It's the same one as before, the gun in my pocket. <laughs> Call it something like the Black Stallion. That's nope. a good idea. Well, you're still within the plus two range, so technically. Uh, That's still not good enough at that range. Oh, yeah. okay. That range and that angle. Yeah. I was trying to get in a better position, but it, I'm, I can only move four. Had you rolled like a 10, I probably would have given that. Percy. You gotta right. somehow sword kill Apothos, Zora. This apothecary heals <laughs> Percy for three. Uh, this apothecary will heal Percy, Meryl, and uh, Bojangles each for three. That's and, my name, says not Bojangles. <laughs> and this one will heal everyone but Goro for three. Percy's gonna move so she can put a wizard tower here, which can just barely reach Zora. You are gonna have to get a fair roll. She's not really in range of that and is behind cover. Zort. That's pretty good. I'm gonna give you half. It is her turn. Okay, fuck, all right. I think I'll give at that point. <laughs> she spits a beetle out. <laughs> you got me. You got me. I'll go straight to prison. Yes. Oh, there's a tree here. Hang on. <laughs> she touches it and the tree just disintegrates. Uh, there. I'd appreciate if you made the sergeant here no longer 75 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She snaps her fingers and she he gets sexier. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, thank you kindly. Eros, slap her with the with the uh, with the fuzzy shackles of shame. Boy, oh boy, <laughs> do I not recommend you doing that. Well, I left the fuzzy well, cuffs at home. <laughs> well, <laughs> hang on just a second. Uh, you won't mind if I eat a snack, right? This guy looks like he likes snacks. Oh boy, yeah, oh. yeah. Frankly, yeah. I do mind. I snacks, especially donuts. Donuts are really, really good. Yeah, donuts are good. She eats the necklace. Oh. Yep. Oh. I thought Bugsley still had it. No, no, no she, 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 took she took it off his sweaty body. That couldn't have tasted good. I was in those apothecaries for like six turns. She shoots him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I enjoy your uh, disposition, but you're efficient, if nothing else. I guess we'll have to uh, take you to the hospital and get your stomach pumped. 
No, I can do it here. That's not no, I'm good. That... I'm just I'm just keeping that there. I can turn off my digestion. Oh, that's, that's a good point. That's a good point, can't you? Oh, the fun. Hmm. 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 Oh, look at you acting like you understand me. <laughs> so I don't I don't really understand. Sorry. Uh, do we have someone who can get like a necklace out of it? Like, do we have anyone with ghost hands? That'd be helpful. But I understand that you can be a friend. I really don't think that's the case, Goro. I appreciate your disposition. She pats you on the cheek and your peach fuzz retracts, grows into a full beard, and goes back to wh the way it was. Now you wear it this way the best. <laughs> oh, fuck. Thank Eros you. Eros briefly you contemplates yet. copping a feel because the description says confiscate something, but decides <laughs> against it. That would not work. I know it wouldn't. I just briefly <laughs> contemplated it. Anything works if you get a 20. Well, I recommend that we uh, bring her back to a real jail instead of, you know, that jail. I agree yeah, as well. Be appreciated. You I'm sorry, are you actually just going to play nice with us here? I mean, given the nature of everything else that's happened, I guess that makes sense. But what, what, what are you getting out of this? You beat me. I had a fun time. Mostly, she looks down at your gun. <laughs> the, the pea shooter? She looks at... First she looks at minerals, then she looks at the pea shooter. She <laughs> really looks at the pea shooter. <laughs> Can I see that for a minute? <laughs> yeah, sure, friend. He holds oh, up the great. pea shooter. Uh, as She's it gonna goes break in, it. As you let this convict hold a gun, uh, <laughs> it just disintegrates into sand in her hands. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, there it goes. <laughs> there goes the pea shooter. <laughs> that was a specialty one in a million. Oh, and the oh too bad. It's really sad. We no, we reached bad. a pact, an accord of coolness. Isn't that right? Oh, yep. Y then... Yes, you did. He's very distracted by Eros. <laughs> <laughs> then why don't you bring your boss there? I physically am unable to do that. <laughs> Here, hang on. Dun, 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 turn you into a baby. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now he's marginally less disgusting and a little more comprehensible. <laughs> well, I am genuinely horrified. <laughs> well, that wraps up for today, I guess. Let's leave before anything else terrible happens. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a better reaction than most people get. Honestly, I lost it at the well that's overflowing with people. Oh my god, I can literally see, that's as tall as a redwood tree now. That's just peeking over the town. I didn't know there were this many people inside a 100 mile radius of here. The Bashir Blasters did have a lot of people and they did all get away, so... Yeah, well, whoops. it would appear they champs. escaped into that well, which is to say, they didn't. Yeah, we'll just tell HQ to bring, like, a bunch of trucks. Yeah, call a bunch of officers. In fact, make this super high profile. Get me thrown in, like, I don't know, the lockdown. Oh, you'll have a fun time learning how to escape from that one, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of fun. Damn. I have a feeling that you really like my friend Dooroo. Dooroo? Did he just turn into Scooby Doo? <laughs> We're on the road again. <laughs> play the ending. We'll, we'll go ahead and play into her obvious trap and send her to the prison she wants to go to. Oh yeah, I mean, you—it's fairly par for the course for <laughs> you guys. Yeah. Now, I mean, there <laughs> might be some. Mo hey, hang on. <laughs> Stuff right. into it's gonna do the second thing he's actually accomplished. That's where our story ends for right now. Now. You may be thinking, Snuffin, you didn't do much there. <laughs> yep, but that's what life's all about, getting away with doing nothing. But it looks like old Zora Salazar didn't get away with it. She'll get put away for a long time, probably. Powerful things like that necklace, they ain't toys. But the next story, that one's full of toys. It takes place <clears throat> in the old blind deaf toy emporium. A place where it's okay to monkey about. A masked man. A changed world. A young girl's love. Stick around for the next part of our story. Anime campaign. Monkey toy audience. Suzuku! <laughs> That was 
was great. You guys did most everything. There's nothing in the gas station. You guys did that, fine. I don't really think you missed anything here. Uh, we just got to the bottom of the well, right? Oh no, there was nothing there. Aww. There was a Canadian dollar down there, and that wasn't because of Jello. <laughs> I think the line of the game for me was, I'm beginning to think I'm not going to get my Canadian dollar back. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what was his epithet? He did promise to tell you, didn't he? All right, uh, here you go. It's, it's a just bar a barcode. <laughs> yeah, uh, his epithet is Groupon. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's, that's not a real word, though. That's a proper noun. <laughs> I don't imagine Bugsley coming back. His epithet is belly button. Yeah, oh, that was gonna wow. be my next guess, but then I guess I anyway. You should you should have guessed whenever. Uh, Zora's I won't tell you. Actually, yeah, uh, now that I remember you guys just beat that combat, uh, would you like six stamina or three proficiency? Uh, three proficiency. Goro would want three proficiency, yeah. <clears throat> so he'd be Y'all taking proficiency? 23, 26. Uh, yeah, Percy will play it fast and loose with glass cannon and take another three proficiency. This is for the buff you get. Eros, Meryl, you got two. All right, pistol upgrade, another plus one damage or another plus two range. What do you pick? Plus one damage. Okay. You sociopath. <laughs> Anytime you successfully attack an enemy, your nearest ally gains one stamina back. Percy probably gets one too. Oh, you do. You get a good one. Uh, you gain the micromanager uh, passive, which you didn't take, which is you don't get the stamina bonus, unfortunately, which is... It's build oh, them oops. anywhere, right? You do not get the plus five, but you do get that. And then Goro, I'm pretty sure, also gets something. Yeah, Maybe. you're 26. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yay! You get my favorite thing uh, that I thought anyone might get, which is this one. Woo! There's peas in there! Oh, but my, but my uh, peas! She, she, un she can undo that. You have it back. Okay. <laughs> Would you like plus one damage or plus two range? I need the range because it was only a four range. All right, six range. Got it. The only other thing that you missed is... Uh, Howie would have given you uh, a different amount of stamina based on what honey you gave him, and whatever you gave him first, he would immediately leave afterwards because uh, he has an appointment to get to and may or may not be appearing immediately in the next campaign. Uh, I again because he's my favorite. Uh, so we could have gotten more if we gave him the beehive? You would have gotten three each. Uh, uh, I imagine the thing that you added, which you mentioned, was just that RP up there in the forest with oh, those yeah. random mooks. Yeah. <laughs> is Snuff into it going to be the narrator for all of them? No, it's going to change every time. <laughs> oh. He doesn't deserve to be the narrator for any more <laughs> He is of them. fucking terrible. I don't know whether or not I'll play Percy again. She, I mean, she... I really liked Percy, yeah, actually. Per I thought she, I thought yeah, she per really Percy was my favorite. Out of this group of people, Percy was my favorite, actually. Aaron, I liked everyone. For fantastic characters. I, uh, I enjoyed doing damage this campaign. That was fun. <laughs> you certainly enjoyed it more than you enjoyed healing, it would seem. This was all well and good. Jello, I hope you enjoyed it more than you enjoyed uh, doing the uh, the first one. You I sure did. <laughs> you look back on that one not particularly fondly. Good thing we have no recording of it. <laughs>